Morgan and Liz, it's coming. Okay, good evening, backgammon fans. Bill Riles, Tar Mendocino, Ace Point Batgammon, broadcasting from Las Vegas, Nevada. Rory Pascar's Las Vegas Open. Uh, we're going to start one match early today after the dinner break. Bill Phipps and Matt Congar have agreed to start at 7 rather than 8. So that gets us uh, the ability to stream their match here on Stream 1 with commentary and then also enables us to stream right behind them on Stream 1 with commentary. The undefeated bracket final between... Uh, Jonas Seawald and Boris Shafronsky. So we'll have we those matches were both scheduled at the same time, but we wanted the uh, opportunity to have them both on stream one, where we could have commentary, uh, give hopefully the viewers the best viewing experience. So Bill and MCG agreed to start early. Matt's running a couple of minutes late. But they agreed to start early, and Jonah and Boris agreed to start a little bit late. And uh, so we get that uh, that opportunity. Now, on stream two, which is on the Ace Point Backgammon YouTube channel, that will start at 8 p.m. And uh, that will be a great match between, uh, in the one-loss bracket, round of eight, uh, between uh, Neil Kazaros and Chris Trencher. So, superb match there and of course this is a doubly limb bracket so the people who are in the one loss bracket uh, still have the opportunity to win uh, win the tournament now the match at 8 30 or thereabouts between jonah seawald and boris Fransky, the winner of that will be in the final this is the undefeated bracket final the loser of that will drop into the semifinals of the one loss uh, bracket so that person be it boris or jonah would have to win uh, two matches to get back to the final final now the final final if we will despite the fact that it's a uh, double elimination tournament will be a single match now the person who wins the undefeated bracket gets a five percent bonus of the prize pool to uh, offset the fact that they may not get a a second loss <laughs> they only get and and that's fine in that uh you know, it gives us a, uh, you know, a defined final rather than this may be the final if this guy wins, but maybe not if this guy wins. And uh, so this way it's a defined final and compresses things a bit. And, uh, you know, they're compensated by 5% of the prize pool. So that works out great. And as soon as matt shows up bill phipps is already here as soon as matt shows up we'll and we've now kicked off the promo beginning and me doing some talking and uh, we'll begin immediately upon matt's arrival now a couple of other things i uh, see i need to talk about uh upcoming abt tournaments we've got what i have them i know them what pull them up what in uh, two weeks is the uh, Wild West Shootout in Denver, Dan Minardi's tournament. Two weeks after that is David Todd's uh, tournament in St. Louis. Two weeks after that is Ross Gordon's tournament in Connecticut. Two weeks after that is the new D.C. tournament uh, run by uh, John Klein and Ed O'Loughlin. And then the two weeks after that is the... Uh, la tournament in early december so we have uh in two week spacings five tournaments over an eight week period following this so uh that should be fine now we'd like to thank uh backham and galaxy for their cooperation here and that we uh, broadcast on their uh youtube channel with their twenty two thousand subscribers or whatever it is so that is uh that's uh, very nice of them we appreciate it. The uh, also like to thank FM Gammon Boards, uh, Backgammon Boards, for their uh, sponsorship of this tournament, and they provided two boards which we're doing the streaming on. And those boards, one will go to the championship winner, and one one will go to the uh, intermediate division winner. So uh, lots of things uh, going on, nonstop. Played today, huh? Pull up the brackets and see how uh, 
can of tuna and not Let's see. Tara was wanting me to check on my little buddy, Hannah DeRossier, and see how she's doing in the novice, as if the novice is on the brackets. I don't know. Uh, apparently not. So you'll have to look for me. Now, this match between... Uh, MCG and uh, Bill Phipps tonight is, a, in effect, a semifinal match. There were 24 people in this uh, Masters jackpot, so they played it down to three, and then it's going to be an equitable playoff sort of thing where Carl Sellers got uh, – no, no. Hey, thank you very much, Jimmy. Uh, Carl Sellers uh, is in the final. Um, Bill and uh, MCG will play to see who opposes uh, Carl Sellers. Then, and let's just for grins say Phipps wins this match tonight. Phipps and uh, Carl Sellers will will play. Were um, Phipps to win, he'd be first place. Matt would be second place, and Sellers would be third place because he got an equity advantage by having a buy into the final. If Sellers were to win the final, then he's first place. Phipps would be second place. MCG would be third place. So um, sounds confusing maybe, but if you go through the math, it works out equitably, and uh, and the money is distributed equitably in that fashion. So um, – Anyway, what else do we have? Hmm. You might have noticed, Tar and I have been streaming continuously for days and days, it seems. We, we were uh, in Dubai last week at the Oasis 2023 International Cup. Just unbelievable event. Um, and then, uh, of course, you might be aware on Sunday night, the two finals of uh, the main events, the Masters there, which is in effect the same as the championship here, and the intermediate there. The both of the finals uh, there were played near the top of the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. It's just an iconic tower and stunning thing to look at. Um, uh, so we we streamed the finals from the top of the Burj Khalifa, which was a, amazing, stunning sight, stunning venue, stunning little playing room we were in. Uh, we had to Saturday night after our streaming ended, we had to break down all of the equipment. We had to quit at 3 a.m. because the security ran us out of there. But we started back maybe eight, pulling all the cables and everything. And then uh, two o'clock, we headed to the Burj Khalifa for a five o'clock start of the tournament. Uh, we had pre-qualification -qual pre and pre-authorization, and they had our passports and all that stuff. And in fact, we had been up there once before for a meeting. And uh, But when we showed up with seven bags, uh, they kind of went, well, maybe we need to check y'all out a little closer. It's like getting into the White House or something. But uh, we were detained about an hour, hour and 15 minutes before we could go up. So when it, where the matches were supposed to start at 5, we didn't get up there until 4.15 to, to try to get everything set up as rapidly as possible. Fortunately, uh, Patrick and the players who were supposed to arrive at 5 didn't arrive until 5.30. So... Um, we got that kicked off very shortly thereafter. And, uh, wow, that was amazing. And then, of course, as soon as it was over, we had an hour to tear everything down, get it back in the bags, and go back to the Hyatt Regency where, where the rest of the tournament was. So uh, great event, great event. Um, we look forward to going back there next year. Patrick Jabelli, the director organizer, assures us it's going to be a bigger and better and a uh, more stunning event next year than it was this year. And I have come to learn not to doubt anything that uh, Patrick Jabelli says. So, uh, you know, Tara and I fully expect that where they had 330 total entrants this year, that they may well have, who knows, 500, 600, 700 next year. Because uh, when it got so much publicity, exposure, and hype and everything this year, 
uh, half the people here in Las Vegas have come up to us and ask us about the Dubai tournament and, you know, and many of them are excited about potentially going next year and where there was a $50,000 added money this year, Patrick assures me that next year it will be a minimum minimum of $100,000 added money in Dubai next year. So, uh, that'll be great. We're looking forward to that. Um, uh, what else? Like I said, five uh, upcoming uh, ABT tournaments to to end this year's ABT uh, points race, and then uh, we start anew next year with the. Uh, I think it's like November three to seven is the New York Metro, and then our tournament in San Antonio is uh, February seven to eleven, I believe. Um, we experienced some spectacular growth last year, and we think it's going to grow considerably again this year. We're going to have a good deal more of international players, uh, partially a byproduct of uh, Tara and I spending so much time in Europe and doing so much work over there. We know, have come to know everyone, and they all know us. And uh, so we're looking at uh, quite a good deal of international people and and. You know, domestically, it's we've just gotten great word of mouth, and the tournament has grown. And and we have the unique advantage against in comparison to most ABT events in that, you know, we're at a downtown hotel, not out at the airport or something. We're at a downtown hotel, very nice property, and the, uh, you know, all the restaurants, all the tourist attractions, the river walk, everything else is just right outside the door, just within a block or two. So it's a uh, Superb uh, event, superb location, uh, convenient to everything in San Antonio, and and it's really a treat. If you haven't been there, we welcome you to to come. And of course, this year we've added a couple of new staff members because of the growth that we experienced last year, and uh, so helping uh, kind of an assistant to Jesper Carlson, our superstar assistant. Uh, we will have uh, Jason Grandstead will be on our staff uh, assisting Jesper. And if that name sounds familiar, it is, uh, yes, Jorgen and Liz Grandstead's son. So uh, he's going to be in staff. He has worked events before the Swedish Open and, and other things. So he uh, that'll be a great addition. And, of course, uh, Liz and uh, – Jorgen, uh, mom and dad are are coming also, so that'll be nice. Thomas Tenland from Sweden is coming. Um, I've talked to any number of people in the last week or two. We've got a lot of international players coming, um, several Germans, uh, uh, some U.K. people that I know of, uh, Mexico, Peru, uh, Brazil, hopefully from a number of other European countries. So uh, we're really excited by, uh, by this year's tournament. And then uh, the other addition to our, uh, our staff in San Antonio will be a young gentleman by the name of Aviv Ziva. And he's worked the uh, Monte Carlo world championship the last two years as he's kind of just a, world-class live transcriber and he's going to be uh do providing those types of services and others in san antonio this year so that will be uh that will be neat and uh what else wasting time matt said he'd be here by 705 but now it's approaching 715 so the best laid plans as we all know do not always uh occur as you plan right? so anyway um so hopefully he'll be rolling in here shortly and that will uh enable us to uh, get this match going so that we might uh, finish it and have the jonah borsch Shafransky match shortly thereafter what's up don is she playing novice or okay well, good. Now, how old is she? How are you? Twelve. Well, you know Hannah. Have you? You've probably seen Hannah. She's she's eleven, running around here somewhere. Uh, there she is. I can see her in the background uh, in the uh, in the stream here. 
But uh, so good luck to you. Hope you enjoy yourself. And uh, so anyway, hopefully soon MCG will be here. Mr. Phipps is patiently waiting or perhaps impatiently. Ah, I see. I see. And there is Matt himself. So we're ready, ready to go. <laughs> you want to join me? We get, is this uh, Matt and uh, Bill? Matt and Phipps are going to be uh -huh. right here. So that'll, that'll be fun. Do I have to do anything with this? or I turned it on, so oh, okay. you're, you're good. So they'll be beginning shortly. This is a semifinal match of the uh, uh, Masters jackpot. The winner will play Carl Sellers in the final. Well, it's, yeah, the sort of final. Effective semifinal. Right. Effective final. It was down to three, and Sellers got the, uh, uh, the bye, and these guys are playing, so. This should be fun. I mean, every, MCG is better known. Phipps is a, a very accomplished player himself. So uh, this should be fun. How's LSU doing, Jimmy? Are they tied? Yeah, 35-35. Uh, late, huh? Late? Like fourth quarter? Mid-fourth quarter, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh here we go ian terry is gonna try the transcription and we're off and running Not good luck. <laughs> that kid wolves can put down some pizza let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> so tara will get our camera straightened up on us here Okay, so typically in a game takes a, a few moves for that game perhaps to assume a posture and a, and a flavor, I guess you would say. And uh, you got is that a four, four three four three for Phipps? Uh, yeah, it seems like just make the four point. I can't I really see much it. else. Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, hits two. Where are you going? Okay. No. Okay, so now he can make the bar and the ace. I guess Matt only came in with one checker. Oh, I'd make the ace and uh, hit the twos. Well, that's certainly an option as well. well as long as you're playing, time you can do it the second as time. As long as you're playing this silly game, <laughs> the ace point and the bar point don't go well, well together. Granted, they're seven, uh, six apart, seven total span. So, Okay, so that's those three are easy, and he comes on down. Dan, so uh, this is it. I Matt's think, got I a lot it, of ammo. I think he has a trivial double. I think the fake is the question. Yeah, thir 13 uh, effectively in the zone. Well, I don't think it's the blitz danger. He's only got two okay. points, and so, uh, the, b the board strength is equal. He just has a better position. So Phipps, uh, Phipps takes it. Matt doesn't get to make one of those, uh, the five, as an example, of the bar, as he had hoped. Ian says this is actually a no-double take, but uh, he's doing the transcription. Well, but it might be a theoretical no-double, but practically. practically you just double. <laughs> so uh, then Matt gets a or Bill gets a nice I guess five six and return okay. 
four, two. So you come out to the 18, kid? I, I wouldn't go to the 20 because you're just under too much pressure from all of those other. Why would you but, not just play 14 to 8? Could play 14 to 8 and then position as another builder for yeah, yourself. And, and, and leaves one fewer blot. That's the big thing. Right. This, this I don't really see. 3-1, that's a nice shake. He would have made that play anyway if, the, if he weren't on the 18, so the only difference is he's in the air rather than being on the ace point. Okay. So what is... Uh, was that 2-1? 2-1, huh? I don't know, I'd come in with a 2 and get that checker safe. Well, they're having a party around here close somewhere. A lot of screaming and carrying on. At least the music stopped. But uh, I, mean, you, I you, don't know the hesitation here. It doesn't seem like quite that... Uh, uh, I do not secret. agree with leaving these spots around. They don't help you mu help him much because his goal is to escape the back checker, not to try to build a prime. Now which can hit, make he's going to lose. I can clean it up a bit. Yeah, he's still in some jeopardy, but it doesn't have the blots anyway. I'd play 23 to, uh, I'm sorry, 22 to 21 here. This Let's. looks too conservative. Wow. That's me. Well, it's only a... Uh a half roll available to him. It's not as much jeopardy as it might be otherwise, but Matt decides to lift it. Another 5-2. No option really other than to leave two blots out there from one of those points. This is way behind here. I could actually see a case for playing six to four here. And the twos and threes are duplicate. Well, the twos are duplicated. Three, four makes the five point. Dancing. Now this uh, Bips is in jeopardy of uh, getting blitzed here. There's the three point. Now Matt needs to uh, just get has those to come out and grab rolling. that other checker. Is he okay? And he's got two others to potentially harvest on his way around. I certainly hit with a two. I would. Or I think he wants to step up with the with the two, so he hits with the four. Oh, this could be right. Yeah. Okay, so now Matt wants to get the third one if he, if he can. He doesn't have to worry too much with uh, dips with two in the air. Okay, that uh Okay. Didn't want to get too crazy. The double ace would be the mega super joker if you split them. Uh, I guess he could be in trouble if double aces. 
This is probably <coughs> probably right. He doesn't really need the third check of that badly. Okay, got one in. Matt's going to have to attack that. He doesn't want him to anchor. Can't attack it. So you can make the six prime, put a builder there where you can have more opportunity to attack it on the next yeah, roll. Should, prime isn't important now. Yeah, should uh, Phipps not get in? Phipps does not get in. That's going up. I don't know. I think I'd play 7-6 and just have the extra builder. What do you think? Yeah, except if you get hit in a bad sequence, you'd really like to hold the bar point. And the split on the other side is strong anyway. See, I mean, two men on the bar point are still two builders, even though they're on the same point. Mm -hmm. So 7-6 to six doesn't gain that much in firepower. Nice roll by Matt. Forced effectively. Okay, Matt. He's got Duke Tuzus to, to work on, but uh, let's see what happens. Nichols, all the way around. So this this one could uh, leave a mark on Phipps. Likely to lose uh, four points here. Puts maybe third. even six points. Maybe even six points. It's certainly, uh, the likelihood of that increases with the third checker up. Matt was positioning his checker so he's not vulnerable to the double six, the double, double five. Or, double sixes aren't important. Important thing is to put your checkers where they belong. And he likes to have a lot of checkers on the four and three points because that's where the problems are in the in the future. He gets one of them in. Matt's odd on the back. He doesn't want to... Uh, Two large numbers, not a doublet. So that works. Takes two off. Bill gets another in. So uh, the BG you can see now how, how strong it is to it, him having four men on the three point this right. position. Okay, he's all in. So it's just going to be a it's going to be a G, but. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd say were... could be as an understatement. <laughs> so, uh, Ooh, pardon me. Yeah, because there's no way to beat it now. I don't think he's got six, ten, eleven. Yeah, can't do it. Okay, and then four zero. Matt on a gammon two cube, his own cube sent over to Bill. Oh. Now we thank these guys for agreeing to start a bit early so that we can uh, hopefully also have the uh, undefeated final between Boris uh, Shafransky and. Uh, Jonas Seawald on stream one with commentary as well. They've agreed to wait till 8.30 or so, so hopefully we'll get this finished. I just wonder if people who are transcribing, do they, what do they do? I mean, they're off, do they put all of those in? Or do they fast forward? And... <laughs> what does GNAB do it? Do they have a rule? Are they strict about it? <laughs> Some type is drawing. 
<laughs> if you tip Michi, no. <laughs> She'll make a lot of little decisions. <laughs> Nice shake. Yes. And a, a number of uh, good options available to him. So he hits a second checker and goes from there. Can't anchor. That's uh, very close to a cube here. He has some market losers. Any successful attacking number, and he'll lose his market. And he's got the five point for defense. I would double. And he has the combination of a few real threats and a lasting advantage. And he's even probably a little ahead in the race, I would guess. Mm. Maybe not with three over there, but uh, oh, it's not a significant difference. Not no, it's not difference. not significant, but I, I mean, it's not like he's 20 pips behind, right. behind in the race or anything, and every. Everything else is strong about his position. You don't you don't think about this. Either you double or you don't double. Okay, he doubled. Okay. Uh, cer certainly a take. Yeah, he can come around and and make the nine. Alternatively, he could make the three if he wished. Yeah. Which they're might both, be good. They're, both, the they're both strong. I'd be inclined to make the three, but... And hitting strong too. I like the three because I can unstack the six a little bit, but uh, I'll defer to Matt's better judgment. I'm sure. He hasn't really looked at he making hasn't the looked three. At it. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, I thought he had seen it and going to go back and look at it, but he didn't. So I, I think I'm with you on that one. It's two. Pays the price. <laughs> wow. Now Phipps. Uh, looks like... Uh, that's a... Just which one do you pick up? The one on the four, obviously. You doesn't want him to give him the added chance to make a second anchor dance. Oh, this, oh that's this a is, serious error. This is getting uh, getting costly here. Yeah, but the <laughs> the defensive five point is pretty strong. Phipps needs a bit more here. There's a third, or a fifth, actually, third in the air. Oh, he might make the four point. Could that's what I would. Point. That's what I would do. Uh, he'll have time to pick up the third checker, but he might not get a chance to make the four point later. Mm -hmm. Good point. This doesn't doesn't even seem really close. Well, he did the other. I, I mean, in this sort of position, you try to make the play which is more difficult to make in the future. You know, hit, hitting the third checker is pretty easy with the other guy already having two on the bar. Now, it's sort of interesting. If he had his four point, I would think he had a good redouble. Right. Without the four point, it's a little pushy. And here, well, here it, it is. Maybe a little early. No, it's, but it's not. It's not terrible, not? Matt. Remember, Matt's a, you know, the score argues for it because Granted. Matt's going to be a little, a little hampered if he owns the cube. He'll be have to be very slow about 
sending it back to eight with a four nothing lead. But still, I mean, when you own both five points, you let it go. Huh? Yeah, you let it go. Doesn't surprise me, but I think you're supposed to take it. Okay, so four two Matt. I think he may have just not wanted to suddenly let his lead go completely south. But there really wasn't much gammon danger. Oh, dancing. Hello. Now, not yet. But oh, I would double. Would you double? Sure, why not? You're winning and you've got threats. Do you need more? I mean, you know, certainly plenty of market lose, losing potential. Okay. It's uh, four builders. I'd still double. Acting on the four point here. I mean, your opponent rolled a good number. He got two in, and I would still double. That, that's how strong I thought the position was. Well, you got several options here. Was that 41? 41. He could no. hit two. Well, he I would pick hit, and pass. I would, no, four. pick and pass stinks. I would hit two. Why not? Well, I mean, basically. Not, not huge risk, but certainly high reward. Well, if, if your opponent doesn't roll an ace or a four, you can, you can claim, basically. Good play. And he doesn't. Now, if he doesn't double this time, either he's playing for a gammon, which I don't think is quite good enough to do, or he's really got cold feet. There it comes. Phipps is going to take this, I suspect. No. You don't think? No, I don't. I, uh... Yeah, well, I wouldn't take it, and I've been known to take a few cubes in my life. <laughs> you categorize yourself as a taker by raised definitions? <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know what raised definition well, is. I had a, but... a lecture here in April in Las Vegas, and he was talking about takers, and takers are hard to beat. Mm. Let it go. Okay. You were right. Or at least in agreement with Phipps. <laughs> They're playing it pretty good pace and clip here Ian may be uh, working overtime to keep up with him now hitting with a three is right I do not think you're supposed to continue it's only with a four one that hits two checkers and I would hit it unstacks takes Takes the opponent's half half his roll away. Doesn't make it that easy for your opponent to make an advanced anchor. Okay. And sometimes you don't get hit back. Well, the three points being made, then it's just a question of the fourth five, probably to the eight. Thirteen to eight, why not? Oh, huh? What we're thinking about I can't imagine him backing that up. What's he thinking about run? What is he thinking about? He has to make the three point. Then it's just. Uh, I mean, what what else can he do? Well, yeah, I mean, it's may, either, maybe we'll find out. What is that? It's is either he, that five or this five? Right? Go to the ten and eight. Yeah, he could do that. One or the other. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to make the three, and then it's just... Well, no, if he's going going. to make the three, why doesn't he do it? That's the whole point. Yeah. Maybe he'll... Uh... Wow. Ugh. That's a bit surprising. You know, you make the three, it, it enables you to unstack all that, all that stuff and get a point. <laughs> 
Well, if the end get a point is the important thing. That's kind of ugly. What has he got? 5-2. Five, 5-2. Two. Five, two. That's about what he deserves. <laughs> it's going to be super stack mode on uh, oh, on something. Oh, I'd play 13-6. to six. Let's put 6 on the 6 and... <clears throat> Oh, what's plan B? Um, not non-existent. Okay, if it's not ex <laughs> if it's not existent, then this is your play. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't like the risk reward efforts here. He, I mean, Phipps has one man back. Matt has the stronger inner board. Ian said that last uh, pass by Phipps was a big take transcribing it so what did you say it was big take the last one yeah yeah okay that's a nice that's, that's what we call a nice that's, shake well that's why you stack checkers and points mm -hmm. so that your doubles play well okay that's an anchor good roll that's a cube saver <laughs> okay. Okay. Jail, Key roll. Jail break. Matt needs to hit or he's getting a cube. I think I'd go with 13 and 9 here. Just put him out there. If you don't get one of them hit, you're in a very strong position. Well, no, even if one gets hit, you have plenty of returns. This yeah. is too conservative, I think. And there, slow mo is in the house. I, I would really be working on building my board. That's it, Matt. Man with the most blots wins. <laughs> there we go. Okay. What's Bill do? Bill does nothing as it relates to those three no, blots. No, he got his blot safe. Now I'm betting that Matt's going to make a point here. How did I do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He, he can make the ace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lose another bet. <laughs> oh, this is really a silly roll. Was it was it his first option of what he might get? Wow. Well, I, I, I like I like your idea of making the ace personally. I wouldn't be surprised if Phipps doesn't send this. No. You don't think? <laughs> S suppose he, he hits. Out. I mean, suppose he rolls a joker and hits. It might be a market loss, but not by a whole lot. And now he can double, and it's probably still a take. going to count it. That's why I think the roll before was premature. Well... <laughs> I would not be giving Matt these free rolls. Make him pay to see him, huh? Yeah. Well, now the double's less attractive. You just lost some ground in the race. Give him the 6-4 and... Oh, I would make I would make Matt pay to see the yeah, results you, of this next you roll. You gotta pay to see this six four. Mm. What is six it? six you four six, six four? four. Oh. Mm -hmm. So eat it. Just just bury one. You can't uh, you can't give him another fly shot with his board as it is. Uh, now, now it's probably right to wait a roll. 
Matt could make the ace and save him a six. But. Forget forget saving. You Matt wants to run with a six. This is not the right position to save sixes. You want to run with a six. You got the strong board. Dare him to attack. Uh, okay. he was, this, this is a must double now. Must double. Oh, my gosh. Ian said uh, Matt missed. Uh, he should have run with the 1-5 on the prior roll. But yeah, that could be. Instead of making the 4, he should have run. This is absolute must double. I don't know whether Matt will take it or not. And you're even behind in the match just to make it more attractive. What what do you think about it in these positions? For Brown. What, what is one thinking here as to whether to double or not? Okay. Now Matt does have a problem. Is any any three point anchor game is usually close to a take at least. And in the race, Matt's doing fine. The difficulty is making it a race in time. 87, 60, 92. Matt's actually ahead. Huh? He's ahead. Yeah. I said he, yeah, I said yeah. he was doing He's fine in the race. Ahead. Now so, you can, you can just eyeball it and see that. So it's 92 for Phipps and 43, 87 for Matt. The problem is he may almost trap himself off the... I mean, off another the thing. key to taking this is that Phipps' distribution isn't so great. Phipps doesn't roll small numbers. You know, he'll be struggling to play... Play it decently. The very low gammon risk position, which is another important consideration. Or, or to look at it this way, you got the stronger inner board and you're ahead in the race and you're not blocked on sixes. How, how much more could one want? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm actually somewhat serious about that. I, I know you're serious. Well, obviously, Matt regards it as, I think, very close. Let's it go. The oh. Kit was advocating for. I take. would have taken. Hey, you're, you're ahead in the race. You've got the stronger in a board. You're not blocked on sixes. You know what? What more do you need to take? Gammon risk is very tiny. I'm not saying you're a favorite. He's not, but you don't need to be a favorite to take a double. If you wait to be a favorite before you take a double, it's either you're playing against lunatics or you're going to have a long wait. <laughs> okay, Matt wants to step up. There's a nice set of aces again. Two times in a row, he's unstacked. Whoa. The why, why did he do that? Why didn't he hit make the four-point? I don't know. I think he kind of likes the four-prime, but... Yeah, four-prime isn't, worth, jumps it. isn't worth diddly if the opponent can make an advanced anchor and get out. I don't, I don't like that play. So then you're coming up to the 21, huh? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
No, you can see how powerful fifths four prime isn't. There's the forward anchor. Now, Matt would like to get out of town, but uh, moves a lot of freight, but doesn't. Well, really it's 24 pips in the race. That's the three point. It's part of the prime. Oh, it's a bad one. Yeah. That is a bad one. I think you have to play 24 to 23. In fact, you'd prefer to be there. Just, yeah, there's because no other ace that he did. Well, it's not that so much. It's that it freezes the checkers on the eight point. I don't, I don't see this play at all. Super ugly. What? Oh, thank you. I mean, suppose your opponent rolls a 4-2. Where do you want to be? Okay. I mean, Phipps, Phipps was not far from a cube there. I don't know if he had it or not. Six three. Six three is bad. Now I now think Phipps definitely has a cube. Now I think the take is the question. I mean, you just do it. <laughs> you know, like they there say in the is. Nike ads, just do it. Let Matt think about it. Hmm? Matt. Matt lets it go. Huh? What am I doing here? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure. Which is why I know it's a double. Exactly. That's one of your uh, axioms of sorts, right? Yeah. What is that? Five, five three? three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Natural play, reinforce the eight point, and split the back checkers. Four three. Well, I'm make mad. the anchor and hit seems clear. Yeah. yeah. It does two good things. Let me see. Well he can hit or he can no, anchor. He he hits first and asks questions later. I and mean, you can make the 20 point and have an equal game, or you can hit and have the advantage. Which do you prefer? He prefers to have the equal game rather than having the advantage. Not not my choice. Okay, so this... Okay, three. So he's obviously going to the ten. Okay, and this, the five. this place fine. It blocked yeah. almost, almost uh, immune. Yeah, Ian said it was a two twenty blunder to make the five, like the six did. A huge blunder. Number five. Yeah. Nice. Hit on the 21. Hit, hitting was right, right? Big time. Yeah. Big. Yeah. 220. Well, that worked. <laughs> it doesn't have an ace. Yeah, sure, he does. <laughs> Reinforce the three point. <laughs> Oh, well, there's basically nothing wrong with the structure. You know, he, he doesn't mind making the deuce or ace points. It's, you know, it's just essentially uh, going to be a race, probably. Well, 
unless we hit this. He hits it. That's a, Matt, that's a, that's a nice way. Hitting. That's a nice way to hit it. Well, now, if Matt can hit back, he can gain a chunk in the race. If he flunks, uh, the cube could be coming his way. Okay. Let's get... Okay. Well, that flunk, wow. that flunk he can afford because of all the ground he's gained. What is that? 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four. Cover and come out. That's yeah. easy. And if Matt doesn't come in, it's next game. He's in. He's, he's Well, he can do that or he can... Huh? Is that right? Uh, he can uh, make the 12. Yeah, I'd, come I in think high I'd, and make the 12. Yeah, I think I'd come in and make the 12. If he hits you loose, so what? So you hit back. I don't know. I mean, I, if you come in high, you're you're more vulnerable to getting hit, and your all your outfield points are stripped. So well, I don't. Yeah, but the thing is, you want to escape that back checker. You know, the idea of just sitting there and hoping to eventually roll a six usually is not a very good idea. Yeah, I would make the point and come out with the 20 to 16 and 15 to uh, 9. I'm going to have uh, Tara will adjust the camera, but we got the esteemed Jake Jacobs sitting in with us here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> got some uh gaz is in the house now dimitri who gets a, a good viewing audience as well so what are his options here what was the initial position this doesn't look right roll six four right i think this is huh? six four I don't. Something's wrong. Okay, there it is. Oh, I see what he did. Hey, Avi, Avi Cole. Oh, okay. Jumped in. Oh, that, uh, yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's probably better, actually. What about? Well, the, 15, the ten point. The ten five, point. What do you think? No, the that? ten points a better point to make than the nine point because it bears down six away on the four point. Good play. You know, this just is better Ian coverage. Said he transcribed your match earlier with Steve and sent it to you. I don't know yeah, you. I haven't seen it yet, but okay. I will when I get home. Okay, he hadn't looked at it yet, Ian, but thanks you for that. <laughs> What's that, 4-3? Four, 4-3. Three? Four, three. I guess you make the 10 and start the deuce. I mean, it does two, it does two good things. You know, or is there playing, any? Uh, this does zero. Earlier, this does playing zero playing good things. Phipps or Matt? Matt? Yes, I think so. He's. Uh, he was thinking of stepping up. I think, kid. I really don't see what's wrong with 13 to 10 and 6 to 2. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think what he's looking at is safetying that blot so that he could. Oh, no, uh, no. Yeah. 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 I mean, I wouldn't, I would not play 24 21, but if that's what he's thinking, it would make sense to go to the same. No, I don't think he's thinking of doing Apparently that. Apparently not. Nice shake there, 6-5. Six, 6-5, five. Six, five. Matt really needs a 6, or the cube's coming over. 
Whoa, run away, die. Okay. You gotta oh, this be sending a, this. A gotta, big double. You gotta be sending that. I, I would not take it. I mean, without those two inner board blots, maybe, but because those two inner board blots, even if things go well, they they create headaches. And while he ponders this, just very briefly for everyone, we're fixing to have a match start over on Stream Two, which is the Ace Point YouTube channel. Uh, one loss bracket match quarterfinal between Chris Trencher and Neil Kazaros. So that'll be a superb match as well. He's looking at the race. He's counting it. It's tied 113, 113. He's thinking, hmm, could I do it? But then he'll pass. Well, I mean, look at it this way. If you were in Matt's position, would you say, be thinking, please send the cube over? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, he lets it go. I, I mean, geez, so many bad things were... We're there. I mean, if, if Bill attacks him, Matt were to enter with an ace immediately, then look at his Swiss cheese board with the two blots over here. Okay, five all. Now, this is one that uh, it's almost like a you a should, fight, counter punching, or yeah, you should you not just you, figure one sooner or later one of them. Yeah, will you should probably right. not be splitting here. When the other guy starts with a five one, that means he's overstacked on the six and eight points and wants to attack. So it's usually a good idea not to give him anything to attack. You know, this isn't terrible, but I don't think it's thematically right. Well, it was this time. This is probably best. Oh, nice roll. Nice set of fours. I would make the 20 point the 2 point and play 13 to 9. That sort of does everything you want to do. He's just oh, he's going to go for the blitz. Oh, this is this is okay, but it leaves a, a lot of blots. Okay, aces and fours. He now, the, does he back it up with a cube like he's supposed to? No. I'll admit a double might have been premature, but I, I know that I would have done so. Are you uh, doing this meanwhile, kid, or are you hitting two? Well, I'm, hit, I'm hitting anything which moves. <laughs> Sounds like an old hunter, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm shooting anything that's moving. Uh oh. And the market has been lost. Now, we're not thinking here. This can't be too good, and it can't be not good enough. Therefore, it's a double. Wow. Oh. Oh, and accomplishes nothing with that roll. Uh, it's a second checker. That's not nothing. Well, it's not what he wanted. No, but and good play. I like it. 
Now Matt has to produce. I would still double. I'd make Matt pay. Well, it's about time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Matt's going to take. Times oh, this one he took. This could be the hay In maker. Interesting. Right could be. Very interesting. What is that roll? 2 2. 2 2? Well, that's that's interesting. I would. Uh, I mean, you got to cover the deuce, right? Well, the alternative is to hit this, another checker, but I would cover the. I would play eight to six and eight to two. Just hope the other guy doesn't roll a four. I mean a five. I'm sorry. Time they're off to uh, a roaring start on the other one. What's the compromise? Good play. Oh, big, big roll for Matt. Well, it's good news, man. I mean, he made the anchor, which is huge, but he also... Uh, That's huge. The, the, yeah, he's the, got a very playable game now. The, blot, the blot's not serious. Well, I mean, it's annoying that he's... But it's, he'll probably be in where the roof caves in. Ooh. That's a nice roll. But even still, if uh, he rolls a five in the next three three rolls, he'll have a playable anchor, five point. Holding game. All right, say three rolls. Okay, here's the first one. Dancing. One. Now he's got two rolls to get it. So. Okay, this is his second roll. Five twos, fours, and sixes. Uh oh! Now he's in Man, serious getting, trouble. Getting deeper now. Now, now he really needs that five to have a real game. If he rolls it now, he'll have his holding game. If he doesn't, uh, fifths might just blow right by him. There it is. Okay. He can play from. He can play from here. Just start the ace point. Can't make points without starting them. He really has no alternative. Well, you can try. To you can try to get back on the bar. You can, try, <laughs> you can put a dilly billy on the a dilly builder on the two point. Well, Rizard does this reasonable alternative. Uh, yuck! 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 Play to the ace. But Shekhar doesn't belong there. It belongs on the ace point. Put it there. That's better. And he's, he, he, he doesn't see the right idea. Just This is this is a play to get gammoned with very little upside. What about her? Just sit in the position, build the board, and you have a reasonable chance at getting a shot and very little low gammon risk. Oh. Ask her, see if she wants to sit in. He didn't I, even look at the other one. He never considered slotting the ace. I, that doesn't make sense to me. I mean, now the board's going to be so much more difficult to build. Oh, we're going to slot the ace from the bar point. I see. I mean, that, not that he's got much else to do, but you throw two blots out there makes it uh, kind of... Uh, no, he has to play seven to one, but that's that seven to one should have been covering the point rather than slotting it. And so you put those two blots in your... In your home board, though, then 
Phipps can clear that mid. So? <laughs> he can clear the mid anyway. What difference does it make? Well, but if he gets hit and you have two blots in your home board, it's a little bit more. Right? Just makes it easier to cover one of them. Okay, and now, yeah, now if Matt can roll an ace. Point or so here. No. Oh, why didn't I play seven to one instead of eight to two? Matt's thinking right now. <laughs> what's no, what's that? What, what's that third checker doing on the two point? Now Matt's board is so bad that even if he gets his shot, so what is that? A five three. Five three. Five three. Huh, that's an annoying roll. I think he has to clear the bar point. I mean, with anything else, I'd have just given volunteer yeah, the Matt shot. Matt needs to but clean uh, that home board up. It's not easy bit. to do. Two that cleans it up, and let's leave a blot now while we're cleaning it up. <laughs> So he's created a mess and left his shot a volunteer. <laughs> Not a good combination. Oh, that's a that's an unfortunate roll for Phipps. That is very unfortunate. Is a, now Matt still Matt still almost, to almost has a, his mess almost over. has a chance to have a reasonable game. Okay, only option yeah. three. Doesn't mind because Matt has nothing. That's a hit. Oh it's boy, so lucky it hits. Four blot option here. I'm not even it's sure. I, I'm not so sure I do the. I'm not so sure I do this actually. <laughs> right. Oh, he dances. Well, he survived the first one, but he's still got a long ways to go. Is that 5-2? Five, 5-2. Two? Five, two. Oh, 5-2. Huh? Five, 5-2. Two. Five, two. Well, I know where my 2 is. Another checker out in the, to the graveyard. <laughs> I would, I would, by the way, I would come out with a 5, I think. Actually, Give 5 numbers. That's a, uh, I that. Actually, I'm not sure. No, I, I take it back. I would, I would make the bar I would make the bar There's point. There's 4 numbers the other way. Well, it's less blots and return shots. Yeah, I, I, I reconsider that. Good, re good reconsideration, Matt. Actually, this is five numbers too. So, yeah, that's. But it's one blot against three. Right. I think that might be important. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> only if you're hit. Uh -oh. Only if you hit. Only if Gammon only if you're hit. I see. <laughs> oh, he's he took his chances. Three and five. Oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> the trick hit. <laughs> and he didn't fall mm -hmm. for that uh Byronic flat on the five boy. <laughs> uh, well, okay. If this is a hit, Gavin could be close. One, two. Rip them. What has he got? Two more. Three, two, two more. more. Yeah, he's just going to take the two points and run. Yeah, I, I'd have been inclined to rip, but I don't think it's a big deal. Well, not ripping might have cost Phipps a roll. Let's see if this roll would have been important. Ooh, it might have been very important. Been very important. Because now Matt figures to just get off by a roll. To the ace point with every checker, if you can. The right idea. 
I mean, to the sixth point, sorry. Oh, does Phipps wish he had taken the rift with that number? I mean, he had nine each two sets. He, he would have only needed one set had he ripped. Well, but he still would have had the six point to deal with, so that right. might have stayed back. Might have, I didn't might have lost he, the Yeah, true, but he's still probably been a, a roll ahead. There is an angle. Well, it's pretty tough double to fives you are, can't protect against double fives. The checkers don't go there. However, you should play six to two to protect against the five three. He worked it out. Well, oh, here we go. Here we go. Now it's no. Let's. I want to see the roll of five three to get rewarded. Oh, four. Okay. Boring. <laughs> well, he should have still maintained. He should have ripped, and he. Yeah, We're left with one checker. If you're gonna play for a G. You gotta play for a G. That's <laughs> right. And it might have, and that actually because it was one checker, it might have made the difference. Yeah. I'll concede that. Oh, nice know, shot! He might have had trouble clearing the six. And, and lose, yeah, I think this is right to make the one three point. Keep Two the eight right point, and you've got the man in the eleven point. As a builder for the five, in addition. Some good rolls here. Not not a double yet. No. So I sort of hate to go away from this roll without making the four point. I really hate to do it. Which means that I would make the four point. I could do, do this also. I like both of those plays better than the do, making the anchor he doesn't need. And the man on the 23 point might be an asset. How much of that lost equity of FIPS is uh, cube play, Ian? Roughly. Four. He should have a four, a six, and a two to play, I think. Do you agree? Four. He's played the four. And after he plays the six, we'll see if he has a two to play. Would you be jumping out of your chair in glee if you got doubles? <laughs> mm. uh, 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 uh. In fact, is it a take? Are you sure? See, people think about these things, about what I should double. Just ask yourself, is it a take? If you're not sure, double. Long distance fly shot. Yep. Now a miss. Oh. Survival. Hey, he can turn this around pretty quickly. I mean, look how badly this has gone for Matt. And he's still, and he's still, a, pretty good still have a pretty good position. I mean, just imagine if it had gone well for Matt. Anchor it up, and we have a mutual holding game. Yeah, it's kind of balanced out to a pretty good even game now. Yeah, so so if you double this fun, it would own the cube. So what? 
has the yeah the leverage of the of the cube well he'd, he'd had the leverage of the cube anyway whether you doubled or not it's just that you wouldn't have the leverage but so say he would have had the sole leverage of the cube someone asked are you going to denver i am he is going to denver Yeah, I guess he has to do this. Otherwise, he just doesn't have a 4-3. Fours. That's it. And make the four And point. the four point. Don't even think about doing anything else. That point's not only going to be valuable now, it'll be valuable for the rest of the game. What rest of the game? <laughs> so a little, uh, yeah, a he'll, little he'll, optimistic. He'll, he'll take this, I think. <laughs> no, I would, no, I would double, but it's a take. But it won't be a take if he doesn't come in immediately. No, I mean we've been, uh, we will have been gone three weeks running, so we're we're skipping next week. <laughs> Don't think, just turn the cube. What was that sound? Huh? I said, what was that sound? Sound of a market loss. <laughs> sound of the back door of the market slamming. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, 20 to 14 and 12 to 6 for the last two. Uh, this is possible. Case. Regional. This might be right. I'm not sure. If Bill is... Well, now it's an easy pass. Bill has been late and hesitant to cube consistently. I time. know. It's co it's costly. That's all. You leave a lot of points on the table when you wait too long. And right now, he's thinking of whether he should be playing on for Gammon. And probably he should. Because Matt would almost no matter what happens in the next exchange, Matt would be passing. Okay, eight five uh, pips, seven away, ten away. And just as an update, Trencher leads Kazros two zero over on stream two. Yeah, that was only a... Oh, he'd like to stream a two out of the dice cup over there. <laughs> 13 to 8 is actually all there is here. Probably save, save the game but... And, yeah. So I hate to waste a 4-1 with that, but everything else is a lot worse. Well, Matt's preparing for his double ones to be it optimal. Worked so well for Phipps, like two out of the last three games. Right. What is this, three what? Five three. Five three should keep going. Not even close. You don't want to be pointed on or attacked on the four point with those huge stacks of checkers looking for a place to go, looking for a home. That's this a, this this way of two three. Yeah, that's kind of ugly. Yeah. This this way, uh, if the blot gets hit, it gets forces Matt to strip the midpoint. I like the I like the hit on the ace. Well, I don't like it, but I I'm like it. The option. I like everything else worse. <laughs> Two six around the corner. Yep. That's an annoying roll. Suboptimal. <laughs> yeah, I think he was right to do it this way. 
Nice. Uh, you know, Matt's getting a little bit of trouble here if he doesn't. If he rolls a bad number, it's a good five. number. That qualifies as a good number. Problem with Matt's position, he's still got that stupid blot on the ace point. He has to cover it because otherwise he'll be just be sitting there waiting to get hit. Meanwhile, uh, I guess Pips had to, had to do that. To go to the ace, huh? Uh, you, can, you can play two to one reasonably enough. Not what he wanted to do, but this is all he has to do. Huh? No, he could have slotted the five point. It wouldn't have been terrible, but. Uh oh. Uh, I believe we've dropped our connections. Well, he's out of there. So, who had runner here, Bill? I'm sorry? Who's a, who a head runner? Who a head runner? Mm. Probably pretty close. It's pretty close. 114 for white and uh, 64, uh, 66, 115. 17. Pretty close? Pretty close. <laughs> See, you don't have to count. You just look at the position and make an estimate and be right. That what is it. Do? Two and four. Huh? Uh, six to four, six to two is all I see. I guess you could play 13 to 11, 8 to 4. Maybe, maybe you should. He hasn't looked at that. This combination I don't like. Three numbers. Two, six, four, four. If you're going to leave the outfield blot, you don't want the extra infield blots. This is reasonable. Would have been my choice. Run, 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 run. With one, anyway. Both? Okay. Maybe. Both, maybe, huh? A lot look of hit. Out, look out. A lot of hitting covers. He <laughs> can't hardly move them fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> move them before the yeah. one of them well, Matt, rolls Matt, over. Matt needs a nice number or this game is over. Or uh, might he play on? No. I don't think so. Well, he's playing on. Yeah, he could. He might be right. Yeah. Three, four, not too Not big. good enough. Can't, you can run, but you can't hide. The play on, roll a 6-2, and the rest is history. Nah, he's going to double this. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little different with him on the board rather no, than in the going, air. He's he's going. Going. No, I, I think he's right to play on. I mean, suppose he rolls nothing. He'll still probably have a cash. Well, don't stop there. Okay. The beatings will continue. Okay. He's huge favorite to cover. And doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't jinx him, huh? Well, might as well lift it, I think. Well, yeah, I think. This just stops counterplay, basically. You have a good chance to make the point anyway, and if not, you just bear on in. Okay. Well, there's only good one good thing for Matt about this game. Cubes in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
do it thing. Okay. Kit will return shortly. There's a rather large quantity of G's in the cup right now. But that's awkward. That's, yeah, that's not good. That's awkward costume. Nothing off. Huh? Yeah, I think uh, Matt rates to save it now. Okay. Most efficiently move them, enter them. Bill rolled a set of threes that he couldn't take anything off. <laughs> no, he's got a shot at getting off this gammon, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a reasonable shot now. It's a photo, I, I think. Take the crossovers. Ooh. More rolls to do it. It's certainly feasible. Uh, very feasible. Now he's a favorite to get off. Okay, may have a may have a shake at a at a doublet. No, never a danger. Well, that was a hard fought for one point. Okay, Matt says I I would like to. Try to break the momentum here. Okay. Know how long they might be off. Hit Tar to put us two up, but she's sleeping over there. <laughs> They're taking a break, and maybe we can go two up or something. Huh? She can put it where, for this other one. She can put them both on this one. Uh -huh. so the, uh, this is the only one we have uh, commentary on. We're, now we're that's not, uh, Master Jackpot semifinal. There it is, right up there. Yeah, the winner plays um, Carl Sellers uh -huh. from uh, Canada. Yeah, I know Carl. I've known Carl for about thirty years. Is that right? Yeah, uh, he. Uh, was kind of a a natural back in the day, and I guess he's uh, back in the game after taking a twenty year uh, vacation to play some poker. And... Okay, so there's the two up screen. So Trencher and Kazarov are at two two. Yeah, it looks like Chris. Uh... His, I thought he was thinking about doubling, yeah. which would have been a little premature with the five-point anchor, <laughs> but uh, he certainly has an advantage. Oh, 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 pardon me. Well, I guess, I mean, if he doesn't hit, uh, his ace is going to uh, step up and uh, leave a six. Uh, Hey, neither one of these guys in, in our match are going to be very excited about their level played so far. MCG's 584, which is huge for him. And Phipps is 732, which is probably huge for him. Yeah, probably. Bill, Bill was a guy, he's another guy that I've known for about 30 years. And uh, he, was, he was sort of the overlooked uh, you know, player from Washington back when uh, Alan Steffen was still living there before he went to New York. And uh, so Bill was, you know, a young guy, but uh, underrated. You know, mm -hmm. he, he was a really, really strong player that not many people knew about. And he uh, took a 20-year uh, holiday to go uh, trade and then play That's poker. What I, he and, was a trader, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was, As uh, are many. he was with Susquehanna. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, and then he may have done other things, but he was with Susquehanna for sure. Is that where some of the other guys were? Well, Neil, yeah, Neil yeah, was. Is, I mean, Neil went off on his own, I think. And uh, but Howard Ring was the guy that got a lot of people into, uh, you know, trading for them. Look at that, Neil danced fours on that. Okay, here's the cube. And if I were Neil, I think you'd let yeah, that go. That was, that's just what I was thinking. I used to take those. I'd say, well, you know, it's only a two point board and it's probably going to have two anchors. And uh, I just learned you get a lot of guys back and two men up on the roof, and it doesn't matter if you've got an anchor. It's, it's just ugly. <laughs> Well, I think you could slot two points here. I mean, he could play 13 4, but I don't think that's the old style. And he strips it to do it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell a little anecdotal episode. I was talking to a guy here yesterday, day before. You know, we were just in Dubai. We, right. And, and we were talking about that, um, you know, how much money there is in Dubai and so forth. And uh, one guy who's here from L.A., he's a classical guitarist of some sort, professional, played all around the world. And he was laughing about when he went to Dubai, he, he had a, a show in Dubai and he said that it was crazy. He said, you know, like here in the States, he'll sell tickets for a show, you know, they'll have a show and he makes a deal with the promoter. People that want to pay a hundred dollars for a VIP ticket, they get to come meet him in advance and he autographs something for them and him and the promoters split split a hundred bucks, 50, 50, you know? And right. he said, you know, normally I might pick up two or three grand or a show like that. He said, we go to Dubai. And he said, I'm telling the promoter over there that, hey, let's do this. And the promoter says, well, that, I like that, but one, you know, a couple of things we need to think about. He said, hundred dollars isn't enough. He said, you know, the people that want a VIP ticket, they want to think they're buying something special here, you know, hundred bucks and do it. Let's do 300 bucks. And he said, okay, 300 bucks. We'll split 50. Yeah, yeah. thousand people bought VIP tickets. Yeah. He said it took him four hours to meet and greet and autograph, but he said he had 150 grand in his pocket before he went on the stage. I, you know, for 150 grand, I'd work four hours. Would you now? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, well, you know, uh, there's a classic marketing story in Japan years ago that, um, uh, Johnny Walker Red was the. Oh, we've started again. Oh. I didn't even notice. I got busy talking about the story. They slipped up on us. Yeah. Okay. Excuse uh, Jake and this, this is 2 1 hit here. Two, hit 2. Double Tiger. I think you have to hit them both. Everything else is so unproductive. Pips hasn't been playing much. Has he read those books? I. <laughs> Has he read those recent books? I guess he yeah, has. I guess he has. Me too, you're here in spirit. Key roll for Matt here. Good enough. Okay, Phipps needs to come in and make the four point. Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Not exactly what he Oh, had in behind mind. in the match, I couldn't resist. That a boy, Matt. <laughs> Still a take, though. I mean... Yeah, not much. Only a two-point board. Matt still a, in the match. Matt the still has three men so. back. 
I don't, I don't see how you can give this one up. Four blots, ten men in the zone. Well, Leading nah. match. Only a two-point board. Matt still has three men back. It's only a paper moon. <laughs> so it's, a que it's a question of whether you think of the cup as half full or half empty, Jake. If you think of the cup as half full, you take. If you think of it as half empty, you pass. I think you just danced on a two-point board. I think the cup is kind of empty at the Question. moment. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Good day. He took that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't really know actually whether I take it or not. I think it's very tough. Okay. Better not roll another three six. <laughs> nope. uh, now I know what it is with it, that it's not a take. Ooh. And hitto. Kick them don't, while they're down, huh? Don't, kid? don't stop there. <laughs> no. Don't give them a chance to anchor. Just fire your guns. Nah, he's not even considering that. He's trying to decide between those other two. Mm. Oh, he backs up. No. no, he's he's decided to play positionally. I can see why, but I it does take the last spare off the six point. Oh. Late in the fourth quarter, <laughs> he decides to look at the other play. This might be, might be right since there are two men on the bar. There's the anchor. Now we know it was right. Okay, well, at least... Uh, as one of our cohorts would say, well, he better not let this anchor live. Go right, right to the back, Eminem. <laughs> Was it 5 1? Oh, decisions. 5 1 it is. Big decision here. I'm not sure would, about uh, that. I would like a 4. I'm not sure about that. Oh, now Matt's going to hit him again. Yeah, if he can. Does that reach? No. No. That's a lot of wood in the area. Big roll coming up. Difference between a decent game and no game. No game. It averages to double fours. <laughs> okay, Matt, just loading up here. Whoa, look here. Uh, too too little, too late. Doesn't really help. I don't think. Might. Oh. Okay. Okay. Kid, kid's got to go play. Good luck, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Is Akiko still messing around? Okay. Okay. So, uh, so he was missed. And now he's uh, safe. Oh, oh. Hey. I, I'm not scared. going to say at least this ace point game is pretty well timed but yeah <laughs> <laughs> i retract that statement there's a schedule what time do we okay i was just looking for to report to everyone the uh 
play resumes at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so uh, tune in at that time. Is he still thinking about the ace? Yeah. Okay, so he... I hate to... Uh, and, and that may well be right. Personally, I hate to leave positions that can leave a double can shot. leave a double bluff. Yeah, but uh, sometimes you know, get even on uh, those points. They just clean up nicely, and, like this. And you know, you've got a five prime, which means that you've increased your gamma and back gamma chance. Mm -hmm. Well, again, I, like I said, it's just a mm -hmm. quirk of mine, I guess. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, you, know, I, uh, you get burned a few times like that. And just, I got burned exactly that head. way in the uh, Masters Jackpot semifinal here in Las Vegas playing uh, Knack about uh, 25 years ago. I can still reconstruct. I dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's the opportunity. And there is the opportunity realized, or the objective realized. Yeah, that's why I thought it was one, so uh, he can give himself uh, three builders to cover. Got to do that. Now the question is, do you go to the bar as well? Well, he could go he to has the four. No. He could go to the four point two. What's he got? He's got two left. Yeah. Okay. But I'd kind of like to keep the contain too, just in case he rolled the one six or two five. Okay. Now he's got how many off? Nine, six off. Now when's it? When's it a reship? Um, we had nine, uh, nine, five, so six away, ten away. Ah, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, four, four. Okay. I mean, if he closes him out, I think it, it's reship, right? Because he's got only six off. He's he's, he's going to have to uh, close him uh, off the uh, he's close got him a, off before he can think about right. it. Right, and he's got a void on the ace over here, which is going to cost him a roll right. somewhere down the road. We might even think about it now that he's got the six prime on him, but there's the closeout. Do you fish? I think it's too awkward to try to fish. I, I just close him out. Yeah, so sometimes I, you fish and uh, he just gets a better bear off out of it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I am... Uh, hey, he'll diversify his checkers. Oops. Well, that works. But he buried... Well. All of them went deep. So. Yeah. 
had hurt his chances. Wow. Didn't work very well. Bill would probably be sitting here looking at an eight tube about this, right? Yes. He should be thinking about it at least. Uh, now that helped. Yeah. What's Nance catch? He takes one right. off. So it's so, eight checkers, eight checkers. Right. So he's not going to get Both got a miss, probably. And that's not good. I've got more than one miss now. Even if yeah, Matt, he's probably never going to get a unless Matt misses. Uh, and I don't even know if Matt missed there if he'd have had a reach him. Oh, no, if he rolls big, okay, rolls. six five. Now Matt. Uh, yeah, that's a different story. And if Matt rolls an ace, then it's easy. Oh. Whoa! Look at this. <laughs> That was efficient. Just when you think it's safe to go outside, you know. Uh, Meantime, uh, in the other match, Neil is down 6-2, uh, and his position is not uh, great. I think Chris has got a double over there despite the lead. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of. Well, is it is he thinking about it or is he? Got I, th I think he's thinking about it right now. Neil just because uh, if it were six he, one, he would have played right. It Neil Neil rolled a one six off the bar to come out. So now, if it were uh, six Chris one for Chris, he would have already made the bar. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I think I would have. So maybe that was. Oh. Yeah, he oh, they're was, using he a baffle box. About That's why it's using a baffle. I think I would have sent that. Person. I would have sent that, despite the lead. Okay, five and six. Oh, he's going. Uh, this is probably better. I was thinking he may move up to the 21 but uh yeah i like this i mean if it would reverse scores you could think about uh moving up uh was really game and go just go all the way to the bar point even but uh then again oh okay. yeah Okay, good double. Yeah. Easy take. Yeah, it's an easy, easy, easy take. I think with the three back there. You do that. If I were mad, I think I would. Let the back man and come out with that uh, 21 to 15. Thank you. 
Yeah, I like that a little better. Yeah. I'm... Okay. Hmm. Two, one. Did you want to make some toast the best? Oh, right. This match is by X. Then this match needs to start up because I'm going to assume three hours. I don't yeah. think we want them cutting down. Yeah, good call. So I think this is. Thinking they were going to cut for an hour and a half was a little bit longer. Well, I match when 15 minutes late. So well, not. I mean, that wouldn't have made a big. I'm going to step away one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I would go for it. I would. Uh, I, I believe he's got the whole five four to play, right? So I, I stepped away. I didn't see it, Jake. So I'm yeah, I was. Sure. I was kind of looking at you as you were stepping away. I think he's got a five four, so I think he should be going thirteen to uh, four here. Oh no, wrong, wrong player. So. Okay. Looks normal, Matt. I don't see plan B. He's looking for a plan B. Don't look for a plan B. Just do this. This is a key role in the match right here from my perspective. Okay, he can come out and come out the and make behind. the bar, huh? How about no, that? No, uh, You're coming well, out all the way. I might play just give him the ace and take that. Yes. That was my first reaction. This is 12 numbers versus 5 numbers. It's great if it works, but is it worth uh, the extra 7 numbers? Okay, he's counting the race. Uh, we've got 60, 85, uh, 85. Race is close. Race is very close. All right, with the blood on the board, I'm coming around. I would, uh, I think I would make the play uh, he first looked at. I would make the bar point, and I would come out, leave the ace and uh, sixes. Thank you. 
Okay, probably doesn't want to leave the four numbers here. So he's going to slot the two. He's not going to be able to redouble probably until he gets a big double. Oh dear. Oh, well, he can hit and cover the two point. I know he wants to make the five, but uh, I don't think he can afford to do that. But he needs to hit. this okay yeah. all right he i think he made a big mistake there he could have hit and covered the deuce and it was a little funny looking he went for the pretty play here and now he got himself hit and he's behind the uh, getty six prime got himself where he, okay i see but match got maybe some difficulty getting out himself yeah, maybe him. but uh he's certainly got a couple tricks to play with and And Bill's got enough timing that he probably, even if he enters, won't be subject to cracking. It's just a matter of whether Matt can get out or not. Right. And Matt's about to duplicate his own three there, but he, what can you do? You have yeah. to do it. Okay, he's in. But again, he's probably got enough timing to sustain maybe Matt having to crack before Matt getting out. Yeah, Jake mentioned that. Yeah, yeah the th thing that he doesn't like now, he's got those two extra blots. Uh, it's going to be very gaminous for him if uh, Matt does manage to uh, okay, slide there's uh, a out three. of here. Okay. The burden of proof shifts. Who's the guilty one here? Oh. So what do you, I mean, that's about all he can do. He didn't even have anything to think about getting cute yeah. with. <laughs> okay. Wow. So and, and now Phipps can uh, maybe enhance enhances his gammon and save slot chances. The four. By, Go ahead, slot the four. Don't do that. I don't know. Nat's gonna would like to hit this guy. But he, again, he, yeah. he, he just <laughs> got out. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to put oh. myself back in jail? <laughs> okay, well, there's gammons here. There are gammons here. It's it's brave. He does have the spare man, though. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> I know Bill really wishes he had slotted his four point. He'd have. He could make the four point. He could make the four point at this point. What do you do, Jake? Go nine, nine, five. But uh, you, you like the five prime. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess this is it, though. Hope Matt rolls a one or two, and you can uh, prime him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you've got to try to win this. Mm. 
Whoa. I'm thinking it's nine five, but. Well, what you want to do is is maybe prime him, if, even if he... Right. I mean, if he plays 9-5, he's got a good shot of making the four-point. Possibly, uh, there we go. I yeah. think that's the play. And hope Matt doesn't roll a four. If he, if he comes in, make hope it's a one or a two. But now you got to leave him room to come in, too, right? There's the okay. four-point. Yeah. Now you oh, got to so hope Matt Now we hope in. he comes in with a one-six and... <laughs> Okay, you don't want him to keep dancing, though. <laughs> you no. want him to come in. Okay, that's... Look at here. Look at here. <laughs> well, it's getting ugly because Matt, if he comes in, he, he's still got a little bit of timing play with his checker in the outfield. I don't know if I do that. Okay, here we go. And this is interesting. I guess he's got to come in on the two. Sure. Because if you hit and he anchors, you may crunch. These are some interesting decisions here. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think this is right. Wow. Yeah, I would make the two point. Bill's being, uh, I think you're right. Bill's being dealt some tough roles here. <laughs> I mean, not that he was, uh, I mean, he was always in a difficult position, but he's not getting any help at all from the dice. Yeah. Well, but I mean, he was punished. He could have, you know, made that sort of ugly but safe play earlier. Yeah, and I didn't see that one, but I've heard you saying it and several of them here mentioning it, that uh, he kind of brought it on himself in certain regards. So he's thinking about making the ace and oh it's only one block and yeah but uh you really need to play these pure i mean if you're hoping for him to you know yeah all right now that's kind of a give up save the gammon uh lose the game but save the gammon right maybe that's right but Okay, now see a one five. Okay, so he uh, he can hang around and wait for maybe another opportunity. Doesn't necessarily have to leave, depending on the role. But I guess. Now you leave. If you get hit, maybe you get the opportunity anyway. Yeah. You'll get the recirculation if he gets hit. Oh, and he got hit. There. Oh. Ooh. Well, that was one of the hazards. <laughs> Look at this strangeness, right? Matt's giving up his prime of one six here or something. Well, that was certainly right, though, to hit. Oh, no, I don't but, disagree, yeah. but I'm just saying. I'm not sure if that was. 
<laughs> no, no, I mean, I'm looking at the, he, he could have, you know, uh, oh, I, I given himself fives room. and threes as builders without leaving the uh, plot of the bar point. Uh, Hmm. Neil's <laughs> got kind of an ugly position for himself over here. So I guess he just plays uh, what twenty fifteen or something like that. Uh yeah. What does he have left to play? All, all of it. Well, maybe he plays uh, 20 to 18 and, oh, oh wait a minute. Um, it's Chris that's got the play. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed half a box problem. Yeah. <laughs> Baffle box confusion. Oh, Bill is fighting. You know, one six off the bar, new favorite. One six, and then we got. <laughs> we got the six. <laughs> they matched dancing on the three point board twice. Wrong seven. <laughs> wow. Set of sixes. Whoa. <laughs> That's why we love the game. Oh, oh look at you. <laughs> I'm probably save the game. Save the G, so. <laughs> oh, meantime, uh, yeah, Bill got out while Bill we were looking at Neil. Uh... Okay, he gets closed out. So now we can look at Neil again, but uh, <laughs> not much to see there except him trying to save the gammon. And by saving the gammon, he saves the match. Yeah. <laughs> It's six, seven crossovers, and Chris has ten to win. A set could make it interesting. A set by Chris could make it interesting. There's a set by Neil. So that probably uh, probably saves it. I don't know. Do you take? <laughs> Eight checkers, two sets. There's one of them. <laughs> It'd be a brutal way to lose it. Yeah, he needs fours four or better, and he wins the match. Yeah. Get it. Okay. Doesn't get it. Three quarters of the way, four and a two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, Matt had to leave a block, but got missed. Two off, no. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you were a gambler. <laughs> Speaking of gambling, he's thinking, uh, he's, yeah, he's not going to. He was tempted. Nine. Eleven. Yeah, if he takes the one off, any one or two, uh, and he's okay. All the big doubles and no, uh, uh, no particular trouble getting back in and around. I mean, you might lose the G, but yeah. Okay, Neil and uh, Chris are taking a break. Hmm. 
So if uh, if Bill comes in right away, it's still five rolls for him unless he rolls doubles. Um, and Matt should be off in six rolls, so. Okay. Oh, so, uh, now he wouldn't okay, be a still, big man he, off. He's still even now. And checkers. <laughs> Gonna be close. Sure. Give some double twos if he needs it. Yeah. Matt may have a shake for it. He does. Twos are better. No. Average it out to double twos, but okay. For everyone's uh, information here, while we got a game change, we're still waiting on Jonah and uh, Boris uh, Shafransky to play the undefeated final. They're going to start playing at 9.30 at the latest. If neither of these matches are, are over, then they'll start playing on a, another board. And when Phipps and Matt Kungar finish, they'll move to that board. If Chris and Neil are finished, they'll start playing on uh, board stream two board. And when Phipps and Matt Kungar are finished, we can electronically switch it to one and uh, put the commentary on them. So you will see all or a substantial part of the Seawald Shafransky match when uh, one or both of these matches finish. We have plans A, B, and C. So. Uh, Hang in there. Okay, now this is uh, kind of a rerun of an earlier position where he had double fours. And last time uh, he went for the blitz and made the uh, four point. Let's see if he does it this time. That time, I think uh, White had uh, his two point, not his four point. But... Oh, thanks, Leo. And we're trying to juggle it as best we can to uh, show as many of the uh, critical matches as we can and as many of those critical matches as we can with commentary on stream one we don't have commentary on stream two the way it's uh, our technology is set up for this tournament yeah I know Hey, you know, he could uh, hit on the ace point, bring a builder around, but I figured he was going to do this. It's solid. Now, Matt does not want to dance. So he makes the nine. That's a nice. Yeah, well, that's a cube. That's a nice sure. number right there. If he rolled an air ball, uh, we might have seen some uh, doubling action, but now he can't. Okay. You know, I guess it's just two down, huh? He could he could make the five, but that leaves a six. Uh, let's see. He's four. It's uh, leaving six numbers anyway. Uh, 13, 15, uh, 13. Double the shots to 11 numbers. So. Uh, 
More numbers, yeah. more blots. Let's not do this. Oh. He's torn between two lovers here. <laughs> We thought we were going to give them a, a great, well-played match. And we've given them a great match. But yeah. it hasn't been that well-played. Of course, it's easy for me to say. Yeah. And they've gotten a lot of difficult decisions thrown at them. Yeah, this has been uh, a match with a lot of tough... Uh, a lot of meat to chew on. Okay, now... Okay, now. Should we be thinking here? Should be thinking. I would I would think we should be thinking. But now he's going to play on. you got to play on now. Do you not? Um, Although he's got little Wilbur back here. He's right. got to do something with it at some point, too. I think but you yeah, play I on take, for, the, for the moment. I play on. Give me what makes a set work. Move eight five eight five induces work. Um, now eight five. Give me deuces as well. Well, okay. Okay, so he's got sixes out. Okay, now he has to attack this and has a lot of ammunition to do it with. And his sixes aren't duped. He right, can't. he's got three, four, <laughs> fives, and sixes and ones. They all work. Okay. How to come out? That's probably right. Button it up a little bit. Okay, back to attack mode. Fair. Pick and pass. Go around to the five. Yeah. Yep. Okay, once again, and I said this in an earlier time, the, the good news for Matt, cubes in the center. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he played uh, you know, safe there, but uh with, uh, with uh, six men in the outfield and two men on the roof, uh I would have two. Yeah, and and three of those six are in the other outfield, so it's even I told you they Oh, magic. Probably TV magic. Hard place. to say, too little, too <laughs> late. Every roll's double sixes, but that might be the case. <laughs> well, he's got yeah, 10, Matt's still, 13, Matt's still 14, needs seven rolls, so. 14 to get off. If they're all efficient. And yeah. They're likely going to start on another board. Did you hear the story? Okay, great. Oh, wasting. <laughs> Didn't cost. Okay, so. Uh,
Takes that. He has to take a crossbow somewhere. Yeah. So. Well, he could have pulled one down. Crossbow okay. Two. That's that. Eleven nine. What's uh, Neil and? Uh, uh, it's nine three. Two cube in play. So if, if uh, Trencher wins, that match is over, and Jonah and uh, Loris can start over there. We'll start them over there. People can watch it if they want to, and then we can electronically switch it to here when this match is over so we get commentary on it. Yeah, I have to give you... Admiration, man. Takes a real man to run two tournaments in two weeks. You know? <laughs> Tara and I can sympathize. We streamed two by back to back, and of course they were on the opposite sides of the world. <laughs> okay. All Chris needs to do is win, but that's a little awkward. That's she's very gotta, awkward. Got to as ugly as it is. Safety, the ones on the seven and the eight. Huh? Then you've got no. Uh, stay there. Yeah, so I think too, he's got too, a too many blocks. Ugh. Kind of like this. It dupes everything. It's fives and threes everywhere. He really needs yeah. to come off that point. I was just up there. Didn't hit it. Did he? I think it's just up there. See, even if he. Hey, okay, yeah. that's a pretty this good is, number. This is probably match right there. Oh dear. <laughs> Just when you thought it's safe to go outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Make the four, remake the four. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, a five point board is a five point board. Neil's you know, got all the containment ammo he needs for, in all likelihood. Notwithstanding big sets sometimes. That was not a happy number. All right, so he can yeah, advance. Now play the, what, 6 4? So that'll be. Uh, I'm giving sixes and threes and eights. This way it's just. Fives, eights, yeah, the other tens. way is eight extra numbers, but he's still got all the work of coming home. But this is probably right. Six, two, Didn't hit. matter. Okay, so he can he play it big. Get, doesn't want to get. Well, it doesn't matter. Damage don't count. So. Right. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. One of the benefits of hitting. Well, he's thinking about hitting with the two. 
to try to keep after that uh, blot on the uh, six point. <laughs> Any fans on a two point board, but I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, <laughs> it's got to make the four point, and then, and he could make it with either. So you got to consider all your various options. <laughs> Yeah. He's all dressed up in his little suit. He's like coming out from the back. Are you just gonna take away the boxes? Just... Well, so you got this. Of course, that would have worked either way, but. Actually, that would have been even more horrible if he hadn't hit. Okay. It's interesting to me, and I'm watching that a bit, and we're supposed to be watching this, but, <laughs> you know, they played so many games, and it strikes me at, at this level of elite play, there's been a lot of games where the cubes never, never turned, and I, that strikes me as a little bit odd. Yeah, I, I think maybe they're playing too tight. Sometimes the you know the dice don't Sometimes, give you the opportunity. Yeah, but. exactly. Okay, babe. You know, I can remember forty years ago, you'd hear uh, you know, supposed experts claiming that the uh, you know they played an eleven point match and you know there were twenty games or something. And, but uh, <laughs> yeah, then the, the real experts you know realize that nah, you know. Four cubes are fun. Eight cubes are even more fun. And and oftentimes, wholly justified. Played correctly on both sides. I uh, In the money round of the uh, U.S. Open, I uh, back in you know Dallas years ago, we were playing a 23-point uh, match, and uh, we had a 32 cube. Did you win? Or was... I won it. <laughs> One of my favorites in uh, here in Vegas, 10 or 15 years ago, I was playing a guy who I know well from Dallas, Jim Aslan. And uh, first round, 15 point match. First game, I went on a 16. <laughs> and, and he's known to be a little fast and loose. You know? It ends up of the four cubes. All four of my decisions were right. All four of his decisions were wrong. Yeah. Actually, and I think uh, it was the same tournament. Yeah, same tournament. Finals, uh, not, not the finals, sorry. The first round of the uh, World Cup. The... Um, Lieberman versus Grandel match that everybody wanted to see, and it got to because it was the best uh, three out of five 11 point matches, and it got to the final match at one o'clock in the morning. And they wound up with a 16 cube, and the parlay for Lieberman to take and be right I mean, the, the doubling window was about one percent wide, and the parlay that he needed was that. Randell had to miss, even though he had at least two checkers on every point, and uh, Lieberman had to roll two working doubles, mm -hmm. and that all happened. And Lieberman won, and then went on, you know, many rounds later to make it to the finals against Howard Ring. One person asked, uh, "When did you start playing backgammon?" Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, June of 1979. I was in a bar and. Uh, Bartender was busy, so uh, I was just sitting there reading, 
And I heard this guy, people kept coming, you know, coming in and he'd say, hey, you want to play backhand? And, hey, you want to play backhand? And then finally one of them said, uh, you know, because they were all saying no, one of them said, well, ask that guy. He looks like a backgammon player. And he pointed at me. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, I don't know anything, but sure, I'll play you. And uh, so we played and uh, he said, do you want to play for drinks? And I said, okay, because I could tell he wasn't a good player. I'd seen good players and I knew what they looked like. And he sure didn't look like a good player. And I actually won a couple of drinks. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> so the next week uh, was a repeat. And uh, I figured, okay, pretty soon this guy's going to want to play for money. And I went to a friend and I said, because uh, I knew what the best book was. And I said, uh, you have a copy of that book by that guy Magriel, don't you? And I read it twice that week. And sure enough, we played for money and uh, I creamed the guy. And uh, he wouldn't play me again, but uh, I was hooked. That's funny. Well, you started in 79. I started in probably... 74, 75, 76, I don't remember precisely, but in that era. My brother uh, was here yesterday, just, you know, came in to uh, look around. He started around that, about 74, 75. Okay. Mr. Uh, well, Matt rolls a nice 6.5, which probably does that. You know, you being the learned and well-read individual that you are, you'll, you'll find that one comment Frank Raposa made this afternoon was just hilarious. This board Shafronsky guy who's in the final ends up he's from Baltimore. And uh, Brandon Macklin said off the board that he was, he's a protege of mine. And Frank looks at me and he knew better, but he, he looks at me and says, is, is protege pigeon in French? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, so Matt. <coughs> no. This side of the TVs or this side of the ballroom? Oh, I hear. Look here, we got David Wells in the house now, and Joe Urso just shows up on the screen. Uh -huh. Thank you. Your eyes are better than mine if you can read that screen from. Especially without your glasses. I guess, uh, I don't know he's left yet. Supposedly Mr. Wells is going to uh, Jamaica this week, as I understand. So, uh, good luck. Unless his plans are in limbo. I started. Okay, meanwhile, it. I it was started a double it. in the pass. Uh, looked like a pretty clear pass. Okay, so three away, five away. Neil trying to mount a rally over here. Yeah, Neil was nearly dead. He could have been gambling for the match. Instead, it's uh, still pretty grim, but. Uh, <laughs> oh man well Jonah and uh, Boris have started on third board somewhere so uh, when the opportunity presents itself we'll move them to one of these boards <laughs> yeah one of these hours uh, they're gonna summon me oh you're I'm you're... waiting for uh, Steve Sachs and uh, Frank uh -huh. Proposal 
And that's in the one loss bracket. Uh, yeah, and yeah, that... uh, I'm already in the money. Ah, okay. So, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll hopefully I'll win, but we'll further have to play advance another bad the money, tonight. huh? <laughs> yeah, this format does get draining. I mean, you know, forty years ago, play until four in the morning. Uh, if uh, not in a match, I'd be in Chouette's. Drink, you know, maybe eight Heinekens uh, while playing. Get up uh, early the next morning and go to start work. Playing or... matches again, sure. But uh, now, nah, one match, and you know, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't okay, matter if I finish at one go. in the afternoon. It's Matt time for bed. Sends it. Pips lets it go. Which brings us, puts Matt four away. So three way, four way, and one of the most interesting scores in backgammon. Just all sorts of strange things happen at this score. <coughs> oh, let's see. Okay. okay, Neil sends it. Trencher's going to have to let this go. I think, although, he, yeah. I'm six. They just started, uh, Joe Urso. They're probably in the first game. They're not where we can see them. But as soon as one of these two games ends, Jonah and Boris will move at a game break to, uh, to one of the streaming boards. If they move to stream one, that's fine. We have commentary from the get-go. If they move to stream two, you won't have commentary until the stream one match finishes anyway, but you'll be able to watch them until the stream one match finishes. And then we can electronically switch the stream two board to the stream one. Ooh, five, four back. And he's glad he came out so he could hit with that too. consistent hitting exchange going on here. Yeah, see, Matt would desperately like to get into a position here where he has a gamut threat. Exactly. And uh, Bill says, being, no, no, no. Being four away. identical time banks remaining so and neither one are in dire straits but they've they've used a lot of time Oof. that's a nice shake been tempted to make the nine. Hmm? Was the double two? He yeah. The block. You're right. I, I apologize. I'm getting late in the evening. <laughs> There's old guys. Late comes early. Yeah. <laughs> Looking around for bed right now. <laughs> Did 
Okay, so I will say, were they not blocked? He should have made it now. Yes. How's that? <laughs> Now this is kind of interesting. Uh, Bill has he's way ahead in the race, probably, but he's got three strip points in, in Matt's outfield, so he doesn't have a lot of flexibility with with big numbers, particularly big numbers with small numbers accompanying them. Yeah. But uh, well, uh, the funny thing is, though, that a number like six two five two, uh, he can play off the fifteen. Point. Correct. That's correct too. Which solves part of that problem but oh, oh. it's you know i played a game of being against a uh, 15 13 double anchor the other day and it was just the most torturous game every number seemed to be uh you know some sort of problem but uh well and there's well he could have played it off but he probably prefers to playing off here, and I'm probably right, but he could have played it off that 13 as well. Oh, well, we've gone from the, I don't know what kind of music that was, the weightlifters were hitting, <laughs> but now we have some oldies and goldies coming in through the other side of the ballroom. Yeah, there's some kind of party going on the opposite side yeah. of this. Parties or power lifters. And you know, uh they've got Barry Manilow here. Uh, and Barry Manilow is it's Barry here. Manilow is here and uh, every night I stop by the state place and say, Do you have a table for one? And they say, No, you know, Barry Manilow's here and I said, you know, from my point of view, Barry Manilow being here would be a reason for me not to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's funny. And I'm not a Barry Manilow fan. No. He's in the 80 range. Yeah, I think his, his fans back 50 years ago were 80, so <laughs> it's amazing they're still alive now. <laughs> well, I, I guess as one reaches 80, they become a Barry Manilow. Would be it. You yeah. mean in 10 years I'm dead? <laughs> 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 oh, Mandy. <laughs> Funny bit of very mental trivia. Uh, you know, one of his most famous songs is I Write the Songs. And, and he a, didn't. He didn't write that song, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, oops, or, and Matt has to leave the fly shot. Seven would be brutal. It's a nine. He's going to. Oh, he's not going to save one. Okay, so what's but, it? Forty six, seventy nine, uh, uh, eighty two. Oh dear! Oh dear! Is right. Who'd have seen that coming? <laughs> Other than the dice gods. No, he can't leave two blocks. So. Oh, he can leave two blocks. Man, that's got to be the play, because there's no way to leave two blocks without them being connected. Uh, direct miss. Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. See. So, Matt, uh, Matt may uh, have one. What's Bill it? is up six. Bill's up six. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So be interesting. Let's see if uh, he gets it in. So he's up six, down a man. They both, uh, well, 
Matt has a void on the ace, and Phipps may soon. Say, unless someone rolls a big set, we're not going to see a cube until the last roll or two. Mm -hmm. Oh, now he's down a pip and a man. Man's thinking about it. Not at this score. Can't see it. That was a really good roll for him. <laughs> Not particularly good roll for him. Okay, so Matt's down three pips. So and like uh, I would take a shake here. Yeah, I'd take a shake. You you very very probably have a miss in your future. Isn't it? Okay, Pips needs to get two off. Uh, how do you do? That's, That's game bad. step and match. Not, yep. not match, but it's yeah. certainly... Uh, Point well taken. No pun intended. Okay, so three away, three away. He's done. Woke up in the morning. Sixes. Nice for Matt. Pardon me. Yeah, we were probably playing when you went to bed, Casper, and we're playing when you get up. You got seven men on? Okay. I think so. Huh? Eight, seven, yeah. All right, so uh, let's see. 119. 119, 129, is it? Oh, no, 139. And. Uh, Ooh, okay, here we go. I think that was a pass. At this score, I think that was a pass. Did I miscount? Yeah, I mean, I think he was down 20 pips. And at this score, even with the gap on the five point at the moment...
that was not good for him, that double fours. I mean, it's helps in the race, but... I said a fours in reply. Yeah. Okay. Wow. He's made me a believer. <laughs> okay, you can roll. <laughs> we got it. Uh, Matt needs uh, another similar reply. So did Barry leave his show and come up here or what? <laughs> So he's down nine in. pips, so 77.86, but uh, distribution's a little bit better. And he didn't want to leave one back there. No. Exposed to attack. He's real close. After this roll, probably. Well, maybe. Got to drop. Well, I would have thought he might drop one out of three. need much help. That uh, did not help him. And he did need a lot of help. Boxes wouldn't hurt him here. It needs something big in a hurry. That uh, wasn't it. That's not exactly something big. Okay, got to have a set beginning now. It's a loss. Okay. We're offered three away. Bill just needs to win. The gammon isn't too productive. Everybody's on break. They're Everybody's going on break. On break. They're, they're still on break. Well, I tell you what. I'm You're going to take go a bathroom break. break. I'm thinking about that myself. Okay, here comes Trencher and Neil. I'll take care of it till you get back. Okay. Then you can take care of it till I get back. Right. <laughs> you you were uh, catching flies over there several times. Huh?
Okay, that was a quick break. So here we go. I say, uh, a G doesn't particularly do Phipps much, much good. He just simply needs a win, period. So don't take any uh, undue risk to try to get a G. It's not worth that much. Oh, oh, oh. Bedtime, Leo, it's only, what is it? 7 a.m. there or something? Oh, okay. I say, if you hadn't been to bed, you may as well just wait, wait till tomorrow night. the count. He didn't bother to take it. Four two makes the four. supposed to do cut it down we got, I'm gonna put a bed roll behind the counter over there it's only 10 okay Phipps is uh Got in a pretty good position there. Matt can make the deuce. Pip, Pips needs to get little Wilbur out of there. So he needs a six. There's a six and a deuce. Perfecto. Now he's only got to get those three checkers out. Exterior here, as it were. I think the spectators prefer double match DMP, you know? It was DMP. <laughs> a 
It looks like we're fixing to start move them. Jonah and the other guy, this match <laughs> is, is over. I'll I'll go fetch them. At the first game break from now, they they'll move. Okay, so it looks as though MCG will win, and he will be playing Carl Sellers in the final tomorrow. And I'm going to go find uh, Jonah and Boris. And. Uh, get them upon their next game break to move to table one. See, Pip. Pips needs sixes now. Oh, I thought I saw it. Good match. Congratulations to Matt. Congratulations to Phipps. Nice uh, competitive match. They played a good, strong three hours of it. <laughs> so uh, let me go catch these other guys. They can't hear you on that one. So uh, we're going to be moving Jonah here quickly. Well done, guys. This is it. Yeah, a fun four. way, two way is. Once they get the nine. I'm 
I see that. I don't think there's a uh, live mic on that, though. Okay, sports fans. Whoa. Big trouble. <laughs> Neil looks to be in big trouble. <laughs> okay, sports fans. Jonah and uh, Boris have uh, gotten to 5 4. And now we finally have the opportunity to get them on, uh, on the stream. So there they are. Yeah, I told Phipps that just now. He he about fainted when I told him he played eight. Uh, I didn't realize he'd gotten it down to seven eleven. But uh, if you have his number or whatever email address, you can send it to him. If not, send it to me, and I'll get it to him. Okay, so again. Well, Boris, I, I didn't see the start of this game. <laughs> I, would, or I was sitting here, but I looked away or doing something else. Um, off to a very good uh, positional start. Look at here. That's got to be a take. Jonah has the, uh, the anchor.
Neil needs to get somebody moving, and he doesn't. Six five. Okay, so Jonah is uh Morse is actually, you know, for that early cube has uh it's played out fairly well for him. But uh so far, but, so far, but now he's 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 kind of come to the end of the road as far as easy goes. And, Borsh uh, needs a doublet in the next few rolls. He's he's got a few spares to buy some time with. Um, and now the end is near. No savvy. Well. Two sets of sixes. Okay, so uh, Chris Trencher beat Neil Kazaros in the one loss bracket there. And I think they're at the bottom of the bracket. So I actually think the Chris, who won that, will play the loser of this match here, Bors and Jonah. Ooh, look at that. There's that double E. Or wait, that's four. Yeah, four. Oh, four, four. Yeah, I thought. It. I am sorry. I know how to play those. <laughs> yes, okay. definitely. I was just looking. When's the main final? I don't know, Hussein. Uh, they got it. It's going to be late tomorrow afternoon, probably, because they're going to have... Uh, two matches to play in the uh, fighters bracket and then uh, and then the final Yeah, that's that's how it works out sometimes we try to stagger it so that we can get this match shown right in both matches yeah or as long. long as they can be well all you can do is try all right now there's a pip count for uh, art benjamin yeah <laughs> That was a stream, wasn't it? What's that? Arts uh, no. lecture. We weren't really. Those of you who didn't come to the tournament, you missed, you missed it. <laughs> and of course, Art, who's a, a prof, so he's used to lecturing. He sure. gives these math and magic shows, so he's used to entertaining. presentation, yeah. entertaining, keeping the audience engaged. And he's a funny guy. Yeah. Um, the, I, and I didn't see that much of it, but what I did see, it was quite entertaining as well as informative. So uh, I think he said he was uh, he he didn't want it streamed because he's still kind of polishing it up somewhat, yeah. and he wants it to get it in a better form. Um, yeah, he did also ask that uh, you know while he didn't uh, have any problem with people taking pictures of the slides that he used in the presentation he preferred that they not uh, you know be presented on youtube or yeah the internet just because uh he is still modifying right 
So, so uh, eventually they'll all see print in uh, prime time. A lot of it, a lot of it has tr- already been in prime time. Oh, no. Good reason to join the USBGF, and uh, you'll get prime time magazine. That was always one of the most, in my opinion, one of the most valuable assets. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Boris up 6-5. Still relatively early in the match. Now, just looking at the time and how these guys are playing and how the match is progressing, we should have played this one first, <laughs> you know, and the other one second. But what do you do? And I don't think, uh, you know, they didn't play slowly. Didn't no, they were just uh, took a long time. involved, so complicated matches. And what do you do? I don't remember even looking at the clocks, but, I, well, they were down around two minutes each. Matt and Phipps were yeah. one or two minutes each. So they weren't playing slowly, but they utilized their available time. And it was a lot of games <laughs> and a lot of complicated games. Yeah, I think uh, in the last um, two days... Yesterday, I played three matches, and it probably were eight hours. You know, if you added them all up, it right. probably eight hours worth of play. Today, I played Steve. was about two and a half hours, I think. Uh, I played uh, Kara, and that was maybe an hour and a half for an 11-point match. It's only uh, my last match. I had great dice. And that was a little quick. Here it comes again. And it, it's, it's interesting... Because he either counts faster than Art Benjamin, or he didn't count it at all. <laughs> so I think he's more of a, I don't know what you want to call it, a visualization type. Even yeah, he guards the count. So. You know? <laughs> yeah, I've got a big enough lead here. But and you know, and and. All backgammon players that play it with any degree of seriousness and with some proficiency knows. I mean, a, a long backgammon match is exhausting. I mean, you're trying to stay totally focused and uh, intense for two or three hours. Um, that's worse than physical exertion, oftentimes. More tiring than physical exertion, perhaps. Unless you're running a marathon yeah, or something. you might not be tired, but your brain is... Uh, exactly, exactly. Well, it certainly looks like a pace here. I would, my I first nice reaction... Still 136, 127. My, my initial reaction from the sight test yeah. <laughs> was it got to be a take, but... Uh, yeah, White's got 127. And uh, 91, 115, uh, yeah, uh, 136. So nine pips. Yep. Oh, but look at that roll. That will play. And he's got to make the four. He could hit two, but uh, yeah, I, he's got to make the four. Just no question. Jonah, Jonah dances. Gets hit again. Dances. This one could leave a scar. You know, apparently this guy, you know, he's from the uh, Ukraine uh, originally. Uh-huh. So I'm sure he probably grew up playing in some regard. But uh, I was told he only, he'd been playing intermediate and like, only very recently moved up to championship level play, and uh, but from what I've seen in his match, he, who, I forget who he played now. Sax was it? Yeah. Uh, and then this match, what little bit I've seen there, he seems to have a pretty solid game. You gotta bring in a builder. You don't make the parties. Yeah. 
bring something in. Yeah, with he two in the air. played the other one, but the, this is fine. With two in the air, yeah. no need. To, he just want, needs to maximize. Uh, needs to maximize his builders. And, The only advantage to using the other one is minimization of blots, but yeah. with two in the air, perhaps that's not a overriding concern. Okay, so Jonah buys some, uh, keeps his pulse alive by making an anchor, but he's still in uh, pretty serious shape. But the guy can't, uh, Borsch can't make the, cover the ace. Ooh. And Jonah can't hit the ace. There's the cover. Sure, join us if you want. Jake and I are about okay, to go to sleep. Wide right awake here, John O'Hagan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, John right, so O'Hagan. Six five me, uh, up to adjust fifteen. Adjust the camera right here. Cube has been turned, and uh, this is four, and that's five. Okay, so um, this is four. This is five. Okay. okay. I knew something was goofy. I, was like, I remember this checker was already. All right. Okay. Dance. I just, the last days. So. so you just put that one. Around. Yeah. Uh, could be a gammon if he dances for a few more times. So what do you do here? Uh, he's probably looking at making the nine. Yeah. That's probably not right. Yeah. I think this is. I think it's maybe that that might not be right either. I think just thirteen to seven maybe was the play. <laughs> Does give him a three four shot, but yeah. All right. Three. All right. What is it? One. Three one. Three one. Yeah. So uh, can he get by? Well, he's got to wait till oh, next time. To leave a to fly shot there. That. He's going to leave a seven. Six shots. And no. It's a mess. He's just trying to save now, the J. Th other than out. a two one, he can yeah. get it home. What I say? Well, other than uh, a two one. one, one one will do it. <laughs> one one gets him there. All right. So now he's just running off the G. We got six, eight, ten, eleven. It could be close, but okay. Probably soon will be eight to five. Some chance of leaving some, a shot. Some here. chance of a leaving a shot. Some chance of getting G'd. Yeah, for sure. I think six to four. The other two twice looks right. Yeah, Ian said John always had good results in tech in uh, Vegas, and he also always has good results in Texas. Yeah, it's, those are his. <laughs> This go to tournaments, it seems. He All right, there's a problem with Gammon Saber. Okay. Don't want to burn many pips, if any. Right. He'll probably go to the five and the, the five and the bar there. So. Five and the sevens, I'd go to, yeah. Hey, oh. Runs out. I might have waited for that uh, yeah, I, five I two six right. two show. Yeah, I, I don't think it's worth it to, to run off. Well, now, now it looks like you know what he's doing. Back into Jeopardy. All right. That helps. Uh, he's got how many on the six point? Now he's got a ton of checkers. A bunch now. of them, but they don't matter. All right. The two in the outfield. <laughs> That's it. That's it. There <laughs> saves the gamut. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, five to eight, up to 15, 10 away, down by three. Hmm. I'll be back. I just want to see how close that man. Okay, good enough. 
All right. So, three, one. He knows how to play that. <laughs> he okay. read the first chapter anyway. Huh? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm kidding, because he's, he's a fine player, so don't get the wrong idea. I'm joking. Yeah, he's cashed in Texas almost every year, Edward, in one or another uh, event. Makes the bar. And 5-5. Five, five. You can probably definitely cube now, I think. Burns a lot of... There we go. Yep, but uh, Jonah's got the. Let the opponent decide using the Woolsey rule here. Is it clear that the opponent <laughs> has a take? No. No, Brandon so James hard. asked me uh, for your contact information where you lived. He was going to be in Baltimore or something. I gave him your email address. I hope that <laughs> wasn't a bad one. And uh, Christmas present, maybe you. Uh, so, uh, what, he wanted my contact info? Is that no, not name? yours, Brandon, I'm talking. To. Oh, Brandon, oh, okay. There's Carl James right there. All right, 5-3, five, 5-2. Three, five, three. Five, two. two down, of course. They both have a ton of time. Yeah, they, they're they playing like there's a plane to catch. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you should just keep it going, yeah. I think. Looks right to me. All right, makes the bar. Next one, yeah, I would do that too. <sighs> I've won. To the 18, or maybe split and hit on the ace. One or the other, I think. I'd have to think about this for a minute. Yeah, it's reasonable. All right, run out. Hope to be missed. Okay. All right, makes the 18. It's gonna... Kit, uh, Jake's coming back, Tar, or said he was. So, four, four. Some, some nice rolling here. He's got not one, a huge one, lead, but so, uh, something of a lead. 114 for White after the play. And 13, 18, 24. Well, he's got a little bit ahead, so that's the right play. Well, well he was a little bit ahead. Back out. Yep. Or he could have just made the five with the ace there. Pretty close. All right, 104. Okay. Well, yeah, he's only a few pips in and I guess so they, it's definitely uh, not enough. Just watching them yeah. bear off. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess you'll, uh, y'all are going to go ahead and play tonight, obviously. I, I mean, think so. Yeah. yeah. Try not to let it go three hours, you know. <laughs> All right, six five, I guess. Uh, Ten five and eight two. It's like best. Well, this is very close, is it not, yeah. John? Yeah, really close. Yeah. First player to roll a good double. Is I going to win this game? He's counting the race. Whoa. He doubles. What he's uh, 32, 30, 3, 9 63, ahead. 63, no. 73. No, 12 ahead. 95, 84. Okay, 11. You had 12, but I'll take your word for it. He's 4. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so 84.95. The trice formula says the side on roll is 84. The other side's point of blast takes when they're trailing 10. And at this score, he's a little bit ahead, so he can't use the cube as often as in a money game or a 0, zero to 15 type score. So my guess is probably a close pass. Hey, Carl, how's it going, man? I guess we start with there, there'll be two. Well, yours is going to play tonight. Um, Trencher versus the loser of this for sure. And we'll have to look around after that. I, I'm not sure. So yours is a semifinal. Part of the semifinal. Whatever well, it semifinal of the one loss bracket. Yeah. Huh? If we would have started. Yeah, I finished in the final four yeah. of the uh, console and I lost yeah, to Al Hodas. So he's in the finals yeah. against To Be Determined. Be up till one, you know? yep. <laughs> well, nothing like a determined opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Jonas got it back to 8.7. He was trailing 8.5. So, uh, like we say, they'll be, uh, well, you're in the console. There'll be the one uh, one loss bracket and maybe some consolation bracket stuff at 10. I'm, I'm not sure. Is it 10 or 11? What time did I say? At some point, I don't know when to explain it. 10, a, 10 a.m. it starts. Tomorrow? Yeah. 10? Hey, what do they have? Oh, okay. Sunday jackpots at 11. Yeah. Okay. Kind of after uh, tournament at three. Uh, optimistic that the after tournament is at three. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, so like I say, for sure, the loser of this match against uh, Trencher at, what time did I say? 11? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. And then we'll Man. we'll find something else. Ooh, this could be a cube here. Four builders bearing on the uh, four point here. Semifinal. Semifinal. Jake's playing the other semifinal tonight. Against Saxa Raposa, I think. Okay. I sort of like the cube here. How about you, Jack I'm, and Bill? Yeah, definitely. Sight test, certainly. I'm not sure of the count. He, he, Looks like you're up, uh, I forget, 10 or 12 pips, I think. And he's. It's, uh, one, uh, 39, uh, one. 27 or yeah. something like that? Well, pips, so, I mean, you know, the race, uh, it'd be a take on the race, but. Uh, right, right. Yeah, but. But if, if he comes in right away, so right. I think it's a pass. Yeah, I agree. John has got a lot going for him. Four checkers bearing on the four point. Yeah. Four builders bearing on the four point. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, he's got a race lead. He's got, you know, the advanced anchor in the uh, prime. Yeah. And he drops. Yeah. Good pass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, eight. eight all. We got a seven-point match. That's it. That's the thing about long matches. They frequently turn into five-way, five-way or less. Yeah, both players, yeah. You know? Well, here we're at seven. I once away. had a seven-point match that lasted over three hours. And it didn't start until one o'clock in the morning. Oh, brutal. And there was a clock on it, but uh, oh, it still went on. I remember you go back. 18 years ago, maybe something on that range when Mochi was just getting going. And I what he played in a final in Vegas that lasted like eight hours, seven and a half, eight hours. Really? Seriously. Wow. How long was the match? Seven and a half, eight hours. I don't know how many points. Whatever. What the final used to be here? Yeah, they're uh, generally 15, 17. 25. No, it's 15, 17. It was like maybe 21. Yeah, okay. Ah, okay. 
Still. I've seen uh, or heard of, I think, three eight and a half hour matches. Uh, Randell and um, Balby versus Kemp and uh, Martha in the uh, Pro Am about the year 2000, 2001. I remember that now that you uh, mention it. Until yeah. like five in the morning. Yeah. Um, Martine Oulet in the finals of the Nordic. Ball doing commentary, uh, and she'd take uh, smoking breaks every five minutes, <laughs> every game. So, uh, you know, that was eight and a half hours. That was a long, yeah, you know, it was a 25 point final. But then, probably the most brutal was um, many, many, many years ago, like 40 or more, I think it was 40 years ago, Bert Abajan versus um, uh, Nat Ballard, semifinals of the Las Vegas World Championship, uh, which was in conjunction with the Plimpton Cup, the amateur. And it was a, uh, I believe it was a 19-point match that went, uh, you know, over eight hours and started at 9 o'clock at night and at 5.30 in the morning. Wow. Well, I remember that. One, I think it was the same year. Both the championship final and the intermediate final both went around eight hours. Because, though... Wolfram wow. Sauer, German, who was living in Dow in uh, Austin, was in the final against some in the intermediate against some young French guy, and they took seven and a half, eight hours. And Mochi played somebody, and uh, they're saying they can't hear you well. Maybe you can step in a little bit. Mister Zavril wants to hear you. <laughs> well, I sound hoarse. I think after a long weekend of backgammon, not drinking enough water. Hit one five. No. With two back on a twenty four. Like a double to me. Yeah. It looks like, like a take, take, though. Yeah. Looks like a take. That'll I'm not sure play. about the double, but. And he's got to split the back. Yeah. And then now one more ace. Ten nine looks like the right. Yeah. Good play. Huh. Now it's double pass, I think. Right? Yep. Yeah, which is why I think it was a double last time. Yeah. I, I mean, admittedly, double ones was an awfully good roll, and 3 2 was kind of an air ball, but uh, still. Yeah, right. All right. Nine to nine. One, three. Okay. Five five. Boxes. Oh, great shot. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah, once the opponent here, makes an here, advance anchor, here it you comes. need to try nope. to. Yeah, I think uh, it was another time where we should have been thinking at least about doubling. Yeah, yeah. these guys are playing too fast. Yeah. Based on the previous game or two, I thought he was sending out for sure. But. Two down from the mid. Just wait for a good doubles to uh, clear off the 18 later. Yep. Yeah. For 11 to 2. It's fine. Five, one, eight, and two. Thirteen, eight, three, two. Well, does he break off the 18 now or not? I don't think he should, but he was. Yeah. No, he's not. Yeah. It's not desperate yet, I guess, yeah. Well, yeah, 8 5 is my play there. Excuse me. Yep.
Reasonable. It may have been right to play the ace there, seven to six by uh, Boris. Leave two blots and then cover them next to him. Uh, three. <coughs> well, clear the eight or run off the anchor. Right, clear the eight. Okay. okay. Now you can run off the anchor pretty <coughs> who, much. Who, uh, who blinks not first? Not with three two. You're not. <coughs> That's true. <laughs> Hey, three to one, obviously, yeah. Four, six. Yeah, looks right. Morris needs a good shake here. That's not it. Double pass. Okay, ten nine, ten nine Jonah. Whoever wins this match, I'd like to offer my thanks to both of them for playing rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be up quite as late. I'm not familiar with their game, so I don't know. Do they normally play this quickly? Or seems to me that people, when they wind up playing stream matches, you know, feel a pressure uh, to uh, perform, and uh, they uh, they hate to hesitate. I'm not familiar with Shafransky. Jonah. I think he's a pretty fast player. Pretty Jonah. fast player. He can be deliberate when necessary. Yeah. But he plays with pace, you know, I would say. And... Uh... But uh, and it's funny, and it seems to go more in the eight to in five, the fast eight to mode three. than the slow mode. But people tend to, I find, people tend to migrate to their opponent's tendency. You know, if someone's playing really fast, yeah, they'll start and the other playing. guy starts playing fast too. Whether it's good or bad for him, that's just the tendency. Now if your opponent's playing real slow, that's not necessarily the the converse isn't necessarily true. Yeah, I've I've noticed that too. Speed is more likely to affect the the other player. Maybe it makes them nervous. All right, five one, double hit. Double hit. Play. Okay. Key hit back. Two, wax them again. <laughs> Three to one twice, or 13, 11, Oops. or make the 21. I'm not sure you were supposed to make the 21 there. I mean, because you're putting pressure now on the three point if he doesn't cover it. Yeah. I and know. you're putting more pressure on the eight than the uh, five. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the right play for Boris. All right. Six one. It's a seven. Uh oh. Hits. Nine point, it's clear. Okay, to the fifteen.
may have been right to come out there. I, I was I was thinking. Uh, I didn't count the fish, certainly so. look at it anyway. Yeah, I would have stopped and thought about that a little while. He does have 24 spare minutes after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was not 100 percent clear. Six four, I could yeah, do that. It looks fine. Makes the eighth point. Four three. You can do that. You can hit on the two or clear the mid. Play it again, lightning quick. Mm. Eight to two. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you you think? clear the 15 or do you clear hit? the 15 or you could hit. I'll see the eight. Sure what the hit. deuce is, but I guess just eight, eight to six. I guess it's eight. Blocks. Yeah, I guess it's eight six. But the other plays just clear the 15. Now, this gives them three covers. It looks a little weird though to put a spare deep like that. Ooh, Damn. It worked. All right. Okay. Is this a take? Not clear. So it must be a double. Right? That'll be a kill. Yeah. I mean, looks like it's a take, though, doesn't it? Uh, I suppose, yeah. There you go. It is. I think Joan is going to let this go. Personally, one ten for him. Yeah, one sixteen. Yeah, he's well ahead in the race. Yeah. Uh, still, who, who was well ahead? Uh, Jonah. And uh, but he let it go, but he's worried about getting jade. I, I think he that. was worried about getting jade, yeah, and, uh, it certainly could happen. You know. But uh, I'm with Jake, I think it probably was a take. Ten to ten, five point match. Yeah, that was a two oh eight blunder pass, one guy says. Yeah. That okay. was probably a take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You think? Uh, could be. Yeah, I suspect actually he knows how to play that position pretty well. So if it says it's that big of a take, I trust him. All right. Okay. He's in. Good. Yeah, bring down a builder. Uh -huh. Of course. It would, thinking about getting frisky here. It would little, be aggressive. A little, little early, isn't it? I think so. Probably yeah. a take. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably a take, Jake says. I agree. Yeah, I don't know. Only fives and eights to hit. Only four, four. Well, fives points. and eights and nines. Oh, I nines so hit the outfield block now. That's true. Six three and three three. Uh and double ones, I guess. Yeah, yeah. true. Definitely. Yeah. And at five way, five way, the gammon value on a two cube is pretty high because it gets you to Crawford. That's a big gain. I would also not double. That's yeah. yeah. conservative. He could have played a big play, thirteen to yeah, six. Yeah, I would be tempted to do thirteen to six. Yeah, I would be. Yeah. All right. I would be tempted to come in from the bar now after my play. Yes. Yes. Okay. Give me like two minutes. 
Sure. Do you have a Do you have a board? Okay. I'll, uh, you play tomorrow or tonight? Good luck. Good luck. Good night. You want to uh, yeah. Do you want to screen stack and I? Seven point match, money round, console. Uh, she shut it down. Yeah, you know? She did. Yeah. No problem. Okay. I'm just gonna watch the end of this match, and that's bedtime. You wanna talk? Uh, yeah. Always possible. Chris Trencher. Replacing Jake Jacobs. Jake uh, had to go. He's got a semifinal match to play. Frank Raposa had beaten uh, Steve Sachs, apparently. Okay, so uh, need to change the scorecard. Jonah wrote it down, but... Uh, yeah, he wrote it down, but he didn't change the, but the uh, scorecard. It was the other guy's point, right? Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, does uh, Tara want to? Tara, uh, he got it now. He got oh, it. He now. got it now. Okay. Have to wake her up over there. <laughs> hmm. All right, twenty-two to the mid. Okay. Fifteen. Works. Okay. Four three. I think just safety it up. Thirteen to six. The yeah. beginners play. Yeah, or you could hit maybe. Let's see here. What's the pip count? Forty-four, one thirty-seven. Thirteen. There's an eighty-one, eighty-seven, one seventeen for black. <laughs> one nineteen. All right, thirteen-four. One seventeen for uh, black. Brown. Jonah, you mean? Yeah. Okay. And the others? No reason to. Weird. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, Making a nice, nice little structure there. Yep, yep. Did that go through? I thought it fell out the front side. One of them. It did seem to magically appear. Huh? It did seem to magically appear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was random regardless, but it sure looked like one of them come over the front. Yeah, let's make the five point. I don't know why not. <laughs> We're not noticing, Tara. <laughs> yeah, it is. Didn't have a long weekend. You can sleep anywhere, right? Oh, Jonah found a problem. Yeah. Wow. Probably fewer shots is what he, is what he chooses. And, uh, Could this be a double? I'm gambling for the match here if he hits. Could be. But what's, what's the race? Uh, I don't know. 66, 69, 95, 117 for white, okay. 56, 72, 102, 106, 111 for red. So the race is basically even. I would, I would double this. Just gambling for the match right here. And just on the somebody threat, somebody on told the me once along. somebody somebody told me once that four away five away is the only score at which the leader doubles more aggressively. Somebody did, told you that? Did I say? You did. That's correct, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's you know the one threat the alone game. may have been sufficient for Jones. How bad a double team this be? Gavin's up for the match a third of the time, and the otherwise, I mean, he's giving away the cube in an even race, but he may get more shots. Another shot. Another. So he just makes the ace and hits. I think so. Yeah. I'm not even sold. Jonah would have taken that. I'm not sure he would have taken it. I, I think it's a take, but I don't. I, I just don't think he wants to realize what equity he has in the match. You know, giving this guy 30 percent to just be done for the evening. Now, now we, now it's not as good doubles last time. Six five. Don't give him the double two joker. Yeah. Plus, if you stay back, you get another shot on one three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's too good. Playing on. Do you think it could have been a double two rolls a good job? Yeah, I do. Well, there's only one good thing about this game for Johnny. He's only going to lose two points. Cubes in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> You need to just be careful on double fours here. Yeah. <laughs> now is the time to bring the three. It's a proper play. Boom. Um. <clears throat> I'm four. Covers. Okay, so this is this is going to be a two pointer in all likelihood for yes, yes for Boris. Very likely. See, and I see you were commentating. Did you put this in, or you were uh, watching? And did you put this in uh, when he had the first ace shot? I'm thinking it might have been a double at that point. So I was uh, well, I <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. We were paying respects to you earlier today, if you remember. <laughs> Ian is, uh, Ian, Ian has clocked out for the day. After a tough day of uncompensated work. <laughs> well, and it's, you know, it's a li even a little bit tougher in certain regards to transcribe live. Uh, yeah, 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 of transcribing off a of video. Of course, if you slowed it down the video, if you make the video slow enough, anybody can transcribe. I can do it. That's, that's well, He does it two times fast, but, yeah. but uh, you know, you got to sit and wait through. Wait, 277, seven, not the double? Yeah. I don't know at what point that was. This doubling was a huge mistake. Three times fast. A, depends on. Yeah, you can do that with some people, not with others. But yeah, like uh, Chris had said, you know, getting a, a doubled gammon here is the match. Whereas just winning an undoubled gammon, he's at that score where he can only double in a straight race for the most part. Somebody said it was a big no double. I don't know if that was accurate, but. Really? Wow. I don't know. <laughs> David died. Um, that's not going to work. Jonas Dice went to sleep. Yeah. That's 13 okay. 10. 13 10. Boris. Break time. Break time. I got to yeah. go look for some momentum change here. <laughs> Did they sell any of that down at the store? 
Neil and I played one of the longest 11 point matches either. Uh, we, kept we, break, we, we kept noticed. Break, we kept breaking because then he went up to get the AirPods when the guys were playing the band. It was a truly awful band. I made in mind the Frank Sinatra because I, I felt like I was getting a little bit of a hometown vibe there, but other than that, it was pretty bad. Well, it was bad, but that wasn't as bad as the powerlifter stuff this afternoon, I don't think, but in my opinion. But. So, uh, 13 to 10. Okay. Uh, Last match of the night. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Uh, I told everybody, and I, hell, I keep forgetting it changes from day to day, but we resume at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Now, one of those matches will be. Chris, are you Chris, in are the you in uh, finals or semifinals I am or in what? The semifinals of the one loss. So you will play the loser. I am going to play the loser this match. Ah. Okay. So that'll be our. And this is, yeah, the winner of this match is the undefeated winner. Right. 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 So that'll be our primary match. The other, the other match, um, the other semi along with me and the loser of this is uh, Jake and Frank Raposa. And And they're playing. That's ongoing. Yeah. They're playing. They just started. They just started. Yeah. What was the final of your match against Neil? Eleven to six. Thank you. I don't know when they're planning on playing that. Doesn't it say on the thing there? What time? Masters Limited and Entry at Jackpots Two. Did MCG beat Bill? Yes. Then it's going to be MCG and uh, Carl, Carl Sellers, Sellers at whatever point. <clears throat> Carl is one of the higher rated players on Galaxy. Uh, he was on the old version. I'm not sure how he is on the new one. Canadian. Okay, it was a double, Chris. Oh, the it was a point two seven seven error not to double. That no double was two seven seven. Triple yeah. whopper not to double, and then when he was on the bar, that was just they're saying a single blunder. It was a, it's much obviously it's much smaller because once he's on the bar, if he fans there, there's a risk that he's much farther behind in the game. Right, right. And I guess, and he says double no, take, no. so I guess... Boris had a, Boris had a, a five-point prime, and, a, and if, 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 if he hits the A shot, that's he's going to gamble him for the match. That's why I thought it was a double. Right. And if he misses, if he misses, he, the race is even. And actually, numbers without an ace in it are a little bigger than average, so you you know what high doubles would have allowed him to escape that guy and disengage into a winning race, but... If any of the doubles freed that checker, then that would have. Uh, I think actually with Jota's two points, he didn't have any numbers to fully escape. But. And the guy said it was a double take. But, um, that was a take. But I don't think. I'm not even sure Jonah would have taken that because I, don't I agree. Think, I think Jonah's just. He plays by feel sometimes, and I think and he's he, averse uh, to giving up four points. He's right, averse right. to giving. I think he just giving feels like it, for the match. he has a certain amount of equity in the match, and he doesn't want to rips you know risk crapping out there and um, he feels like he can work his way back from uh uh three away five away no problem but if he uh if he uh takes that the, the and you can't guy rolls really it in it because the gabbing so matters otherwise you're just giving up the game well, even if the guy misses the ace he can't re-whip it because jonah has no position that's what i'm saying he can't she can't contain that checker in order the yeah. only way jonah can re-whip it is he'd have to roll some big numbers and then establish yeah. a lead jonah had yeah, what no. 1.2.6 point Honestly, Bruce's mm-hmm. position a lot or gets a big lead for race. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Bubbles, they're awake in Switzerland. But Jonah is a taker. Jonah is a taker, but there are moments 
I think Jonah would let that one. Go, I think honestly. he would let that one go too, Chris. He, I mean, he has his moments. He he is a taker, but that was an instance. Uh, I don't I think, think he he would have taken. <laughs> Pardon me. Yes, pretty good. I think he, I talked to him several times, but Rory's quarantined up in his room. Yeah, but I think he's oh, is that he's been working all his uh, payouts and stuffing his envelopes and all that kind of stuff. So he's probably gotten a lot done uninterrupted. That uh, he would have had to work in otherwise. Well, this is how why you hire a good team because sometimes uh, yeah right poop happens and you gotta rely on them. <laughs> well, and you know, kudos to Dan Minardi who kind of filled in, stepped in as de facto director, and yeah. you know, and the staff yeah. pretty yeah. much continued. With There's their a lot jobs. of guys who could have done it. I mean, you know, sure. you, you, you could have done it if you weren't doing this. And yeah, and uh, and there were others, but. Uh, I was telling Dan it was good practice for his tournaments in two weeks, you know. <laughs> I don't think Dan needs any practice at this point, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was joking, but, you know, warm up. kind of warm up, you know. Okay. They're coming back. The Gladiators re-enter the arena. The, uh, the uncaged lion sits here. Awaiting the loser. Hmm? That's not a good clip. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm glad to be done for the day. You played a lot of matches. And I played three. I played. Uh, but they were lengthy. Um, my match with Aragon went to uh, the last roll, of course, pretty much. Right. Um, and then Charlie Rack will be at eleven six, and then this one was eleven six. So, but it was, it's still, th you know, three eleven point matches in you know in a day. Is, well, the Ergen match is fairly lengthy as I go time wise, yeah, and yeah. the one with Neil was very lengthy. Fairly, very lengthy for an eleven point match. Well, Jonah's thinking about this. It's good. It's not one hundred percent clear how he's supposed to play the last couple of bases here. And, uh, double hit. Sure, I think. Okay. Things go his way. Ooh, double that, aces. That'll that, work. That, that one is That's right. not his way. <laughs> That's Jonas. We make the seven, even though it does leave those return sixes from the roof. Yeah, I agree. The normal play there is a split, of course, in this board, but with him having the deuce point not being able to... Uh, Seven right. was the only productive, the only way to improve. All right, the make the three and then go up to the 21. There you go. Mm -hmm. John was thinking about it, but I don't, I don't think he has it. No. I don't think he does. Think he no. so this position is going to get super volatile because Jonah has to. Jonah's basically forced into uh, uh, attacking with a double hitter. You know, if he doesn't roll a good pointing number, so. Right. That's a hit. That's and a double make hit. the eight point. I don't think. Well, I'll do. yeah, hit and cover the eight. Yeah, hit and cover the eight. Yeah. Okay. Now what? Ooh, dance. dance. Whoa, that's there it went. There's Jonah the didn't kid. Need, Jonah didn't need much incentive to send that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's a take actually. Really? Yeah. Well, as long at as, this score, many, as long as there's uh, no gammons in it, you know? Well, yeah, but there are gammons. But 17% uh, plus 70% of Jonah's gammons. Okay, so, so here we are. Two-way, four-way. Yeah, now you're at a score where 
John can be even more frisky. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll I think I think I wouldn't pass that, but I... Well, all right. We'll see if somebody puts it in I'd that shit. To bet on your judgment over mine in that type of situation. Um, well, but I would probably would have passed it. Six oh eight blunder to take, according to one gentleman. Whoa, a huge pass. All right. Wow. You guys are right. I'm wrong. Okay. Two in, three down. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That, that sure. ruins that ruins the fun for Jonah. Right. Right. Wow. Any merit to six add down and five out? He hits. You've got the ball on the ace point, and the ball in your bar is not really exposed. That's, that's a good, uh, like that. reasonable alternative, I think. Yeah. I mean, taking that guy to the deuce point, what are we accomplishing? Right. It just runs the risk that he makes his. He he improves. He makes something, and then you get stuck back there. Why is he doing this? Mm. What is the point of I don't understand that five that Jonah just played. Okay. Where's the fourth one now? Yeah. Probably 13 7, I guess. Probably 13 7. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like it either. Oh, Box. one good box car deserves well, another. Now Jonah's in a bind. So what's the race? It's 84, 108, 118, 119. Boris says 119. It's not big enough to double yet. Right. Okay, clear the 14. And it's 112. And Jonah has... What else are you going to play? That. That's why he's got double coverage if he runs out part of the way. That's true. Jonah's yeah. got 109. Oh, he blocks double five. Wow, block the five. Huge swing. No, one, <laughs> two, three, and then the side on all right ugly it's safe he's got to just go all the way here and dare if boris hits him he probably doesn't cover right and two down he has a big lead in the race now to double fives i think he goes all the way Oh, you play 21 14 here? I think so, yeah. I mean, any any uh, hit without, well, he could, he could pick it up with a one in addition to covering with a four. Yeah. So he'd have two, one, two, four, three, one, three, four, a two, two. So he'd have nine. He'd have nine hits without a shot. Yeah. But I'd still probably give it. I guess he. I guess he figures, Boris. He's going to leave him fly shots. He's going to leave him fly shots or with a number like a five. He has to bury here. So now he could go this roll. Wonder if he's thinking What's about. What's the count? He's got a big enough lead. He could think about going now. Because if he goes into the outfield, Boris can only hit and cover if he rolls the precise number with right. an ace. Right. How big's the lead? It doesn't matter now. Well, now he's got to go. No. Which, you know, and fairly good likelihood Boris is going to clean that up a little bit. Yeah, he's going to cover the so three point. He's going to make up. the three point. I, I think he for sure he should have gone last time, even if he didn't go the time before. They decide who wins. I think he's up 75 85. 
I counted right. And he's got what three hits. So if you go on last time, Boris would have cleared the front point. At this at this score, Boris still might have a tiny take, but Jonah would be in a strong doubling position. Yeah, now it's questionable. With I, I don't think Jonah can double now. Yeah, I think you're right. He should have gone last time. There it goes. Let Boris decide. Well, Boris can't pass this even if he rolls. Even even if he, even 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 if he rolls six four or five five and Boris misses the five, okay. I mean, it's not like uh, these all wind up in gambits. So I mean, Boris can't even think about passing this. Hey, hey, and then, no, they Guarantee you between them, they're going to get first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three, one. Make it. Six, two. Yeah. That's the part. That's the part. Ten. Whoa. This is a better way. Oh, yeah. We just went to two and two. Yeah. Hey. I forget what I'm working on. Fifteen thirteen, it's coming. I want to see that. I I think we could call this one. Yeah. Okay, thirteen thirteen. Here we go. Makes the eighteen. Makes the twenty one. That's your thirteen ten or six three. You go thirteen ten. The ten or the nine? Making the ten. I don't want to leave all those point strips. But making yeah. the nine gives you more covers on the three. Yeah, but or block seven feet it comes in on the three. Yeah. Big roll here. Can you roll a three and hit? No. No. Make the twenty point here. Probably. Maybe not though. Mm -hmm. 
Does he have time to play this game? I think I just bring that guy out to the 16. And... I'm not sure what's right there at all. Nice shot. He didn't, he didn't cover. For sure. <clears throat> Boris wants a second anchor. You can get one. There it is. Yeah. Go to the four. Yep. Playable one four game now so far. We'll see. We'll see if it's playable. <laughs> That's a shot. Of course, he's got two uh, yeah. two blots in his home board. Yeah. Oh, hit it the long way, but he doesn't want to do that. No, he's been playing this game that he wants to have uh, so far that he wants to invest in the 1-4 game if he does this. Wow. Now he's just turned into a blood hitting contest, of which he's at a big disadvantage. I mean, he's got the anchor, but Jonah does have some very strong sequences here. Of course, he may remake the anchor and adjust his timing. It could work out for him. Yeah. Okay. So now you got to come in and hit and it. And eight four for sure. Right. Leaning towards a back game here. What's slotting the five here? Let's just yeah, do it. I definitely. Let's just do it. I'm not playing six three. There we go. That's right. That's the way you do it, Jonah. Okay, he hits. He's got to play a back point. game. We got to. Yeah, I can. Of course, if Jonah rolls a bad number here, Boris is going to be going forward again. <laughs> right, right. That's a great Hit shot. Here again. Now Jonah can keep bashing away until Boris misfires one time. And hit again. Now it's just a uh, hitting contest. And again. <laughs> this could be a long game. <laughs> All right, finally, Jonah. He doesn't have that many good covers left. Only one. Make the eight. eleven, and then either sixteen, fourteen, or twenty-three, twenty-one. I guess. I wouldn't play twenty-three, twenty-one. I don't want to get so stacked. I'd play the uh, sixteen, fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does look better. Twenty-three, twenty-one looks very tight. Jonah's, Jonah rolls a one or an eight here. Wow, it's Joker. Great number. Right. Still favored to remake an anchor here, second anchor. But he doesn't do it. <coughs> wow. He rolls 42. I think he whacks him on a two point, right? Yeah. And then comes out off the anchor with the two. He needs to yeah. Yeah, get that yeah. guy moving. Right. Boris definitely needs an ace here. That's a really bad shot. <coughs> yeah. Oh, let me see. Make now seven, he's got yeah. five guys. Yeah. Find a four prime. Yeah. He's got to be uh, hit, hit with the ace, right? Yep. Just, uh, moving some of that stuff to those out. Yeah. Just to, for timing purposes. Huh? Okay, it makes the seven. Oh, I, I thought it was double sure. ones. Mm -hmm. Two one. Yeah, this is... That Whoops. hurts. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Jonah doesn't have to hit here. Mm -hmm. I guess it's right, but... I mean, he's got such a massive lead in the race, he could think about not hitting... Him. Is that guy just shooting at the ace and allows and allows him to start the twenty three? His position could further collapse if he doesn't roll a escaping number. Maybe I'm crazy, but yeah, to the eighteen. Looks right. All he can, I mean, what else can he do? What do you do with the four? Play to the six. Yeah. I guess, yeah. You don't want to come off the anchor. This gives you double cover for the ace. If... Yeah. 
Another bad roll. Um, okay. When bad rolls <laughs> come, they range at fours. Yeah, yeah. Six, five. Okay. Just make the deuce, right? Yeah. Looks fine. Got two blots over there. So. Two okay. blots inside, one out. Alright. Sweet. Well, come around to the eight. Yeah. Needs a one. Yeah, needs an ace in the worst way. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So eight, two, six. and ten, six. Yeah. Oh, one. That's the one. Ooh, we got it. And a six. Double, hit. double hitter. But he's got... Now the plan has come in today. Jonah's going to hit him in his board, and uh, Boris is going to roll an ace next time, and finally that's, has a well-timed one four back in. That's what he's hoping for. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. That's going to make it yeah. difficult to get the second accurate to say the least. So, uh, all right. Well, double threes, maybe. He'll be happy with that. John's just gonna not. Should be six to five. Five here, just five. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Double threes, about the only hope here. <laughs> he oh, 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 baby! Oh, and the oh, 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 this guy says when a good player tells me what to roll, I'm just gonna roll. <laughs> 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 okay. A massive dog. Wow. No, no. Yeah, he's still over fifty percent. No. No. No, because his board is not made. Yeah, it's, he has no. That is when he has some stripped outside points, and he has a better structure with this mess of a board and uh, board and Joan and not having to clear the seven or the eight. It's nothing close to fifty percent. Right. But. He's got play, but it's there. With a 3 4 game, you're right, a, a big chunk of your equity is against the outside points. Once the uh, leader gets down to just a six and the five with a lot of spares, you're, you're well under 50%. Yeah. Yeah. What about the 3 4 front game? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jonah's just going to. Bring the checkers around, pile pile up the uh, pile up the sparrows on the high points. All right. Uh, and uh, again. Wow. Actually, hits. He can hit. I don't think he wants to really. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> It's all this ace point block problem. <laughs> yeah, but what is that point going to accomplish? He needs to hit. Why not hit? <clears throat> he has to. Oh. Well, he's still oh, shooting. Blood. Eight. The one on the eight doesn't move. Well, two to the six. The one on the ten doesn't move. So you can play six. five in and then four to the 14, and now there's only yeah, yeah, okay. one guy exposed to direct shots. And Boris probably is not going to hit with a four here. Oh, well, we'll find out. Oh, well, he could hit the seven. He can hit on the his eleven point on the bar. Might hit. Well, no. No, oh, no, no, no. That can't be right. The groan across the room. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, and the rooms are fairly quiet. Yeah. Now. That's four. 
Did Zach say that or Tommy with it's his trained no, ear? Steve. Steve. Uh, this is really <laughs> Keep them coming there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Maybe he has to do it now. May not have another chance. You really don't want to let uh, Jonah get those those checkers in here. I think I'm. I think I'm going for it here. He may, if he rolls a six or a four, he can't hit back anywhere. So you got you got twenty misses off the top. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for it here. Come in and hit with the four. It's crazy. What do you think, John? No, I I would not hit. You would not hit? No, I would just hope that you get a shot later. You see, try to keep it pretty low. Okay. I mean, it's getting really quiet in here. Man. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, if he comes in and hits you on the four point, you do hit him back sometimes. So you get a second checker in play. I mean, it's not like you want him back. Yeah. So, how many numbers? How many numbers clean everything up? Any five doesn't work. Six. Three. Six three. Six four does not clean up. About eight. Oh, wow. Yeah, not that many. I, I think I, six I'd five be six five is not good. <clears throat> six four doesn't clean up. No, no six four does clean up. Uh, yes. Six three cleans up. Six two does not clean up. The back guy doesn't move. And six one uh six is one guy. Five four Aces are good. Three, five four does not clean up. The score. Okay. There's five four. Mm -hmm. Pretty bad number for John because now he's got to strip the six point. Yeah. Yeah. So what? One, now I one four five. Now he's hitting with everything that can hit. He's, he's able to keep both things. Yeah. Yeah. Just flood him. <clears throat> Seven, eight, nine. In. Joe needs to be careful about burning his spares every time. Because yeah. this is going to yeah. be a long game. Yeah. True. Yeah. It's back. few return heads here. Not that one though. Right, down to the two point. He's off the game. Off the game. <laughs> three and then yeah. Six three is not a good shot. Six five is. Okay. Wasty can cover that. And I don't know, eighteen, twelve, maybe. 
Who knows? <clears throat> well, either 1812 or 2216 has to be it. Okay, big grill coming up here. Can he clear? Yes, that's it. Over. Oh. Okay. okay, sports fans. Uh, that's it for tonight. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow. Be here. One of the matches will be Trencher versus Shafransky. Shafransky. And Trencher, and we'll find another good match for you as well. So uh, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Good night. I got the answer. Oh. <laughs>